I want a sandwich. Now. Oh, sandwich wench. Yo, wench. Sandwich. Now. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Hello, hope you're all well today. Don't mind me, where are we? Here we are, hi. Hope you're well, welcome to a uh, stream. Uh, I was thinking of doing this next weekend, but I'm actually quite busy next week. Uh, and so I thought, well, we'll do it here. We'll, we'll go through a few bits. I'm still gonna be doing research streams on Moisky Live. And I thought, oh, I need to refresh my mind a little, try and understand what's going on. I wasn't sure if I was going to start with Amber first because she's a bit easier to deal with uh, and then go to Chantel. Uh, I might do that actually just because Amber is a lot easier to look at uh, content wise because she doesn't really do content does she per se. She's a, a bit lazier um, and I thought we'll do that have a look at some of hers and Chantel's uh, activities. Uh, no shut up. I just because I pulled up a video and it immediately played. Um, first of all, though, hello, Regina. Hello, Bun Bun. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Siobhan. Hello, Cynthia, Kathy, Loopy, Zenny Biscuit, Nova, Not Your Average Old Lady, A Lone Wolf. Hope you're all well today. Hope you're having a fantastic with this. Saturday today, yes. The 20th. It is the 20th. It is the 20th, yes. Uh, oh, there's two Reginas. Oh, well then. That is interesting. Fight. Hi, Crispy. Yeah, I like your name. Hello, Amber. Amber uh, sorry, Amber. I like that. Um, yeah, we're gonna look, we'll go to Amber first um, because uh, we have. I don't think she's done much content, has she? I have some stuff uh, saved on a. Uh, oh, geez. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna tab. Change the tab. We'll go here. Oh, yeah. I have a. Hamster. Well, I used to have a hamster. This is my hamster socks. Hello, Liz. Uh, hello, Zero. Hope you're all well. Um, have I missed anyone? Hello, Becky. Uh, that nerd in class. Fly on the wolf. I missed anyone. Do say hello in the chat. Hello, Michelle. Um, hello, Cindy. Karina. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, there's a lot of you. Hi. You're lovely people. Um, this is my old hamster hot socks, by the way. Uh, I, I miss her dearly because she was awesome, as you can tell from the picture of the what you looking at dirt face. Um, and that's a coconut, yes. Uh, hello, Mercury. Right, so hello, Ducky Chaff Quacker. Um, if I go to screen capture, if I go to the sources and go to browser, you see Amber's channel. I get rid of this crap. Uh, my for you thing is all is mukbang stuff from years ago. I'm not a big fan of this uh, for you thing, but I will say it has actually benefited me a little bit where people actually go and uh, watch older videos of mine, which I really am grateful for, you know. Uh, takes the cake. Oh, I like that name. You've got some uh, Bruja Del Mar. Hi. Um, but yeah, uh, I like that my videos here are all the mukbang videos, which we know damn well she chose those images. It's dodgy as hell. Uh, I'm good, Bookworm. I hope you're well as well. It's been a busy day today of doing sod all. Um, no, I'm kidding. I've been busy sorting out bits and bobs for my uh, trip to Norwich on Monday. So, um, you notice here, we, we're what, 20 days into the year? We go to our videos, and so, realistically, she's done seven videos, I 
think. Hang on, let's let's check. Hey. No, no, no. Shut up. Shut up. Not you guys, her. Third of January. Okay, so she's actually for twenty days. Seven videos isn't bad. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like she's actually been more active this month than she was last month already. However, I'm still adamant her channel is dying a very slow death because she's not. Get, her views are horrendous for what she is. Uh, yes, the best name for a hamster. Hi, Julian. Hope you're well. And cleaning is fun. I highly recommend doing more cleaning. Yes, uh, I like cleaning. Um, but yeah, we'll start with Amber because Amber's a strange entity to me because she does. She oh, she contradicts herself. First of all, she's hello Enola. She said she was going to be more active. She kind of has, but she's actually just rinsed, repeated the nonsense stuff. Ah, oh, you got family stuff, Eerie. No worries. Hi. Hope you're well today. Yeah, she's she's just rinsed, repeated. Uh, if I go to Discord quick, I will confirm it. First video. We're going to go definitely to the first video. Uh, to the first weigh in. Ah, weigh in at eight oh four. Oh, that's good timestamp. Uh, getting off YouTube might be good for her. I agree, actually, but she won't leave. She needs it. Uh, she needs it not only for validation, but also to um, uh, also to exist, if that makes sense. Like She cannot um, not exist on social media. She has to be here, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, that's what I'll do. I will scroll up on Discord so you don't need to see that just yet. Uh, we will go to the first wave of 2024, which is this video. Oh, no, no, I want to see her goals. I want to see her goal, goal, goals. Hi, Nicole. Hope you're well. If I've missed anyone... Oh, hi, just a thought. Um, I Yeah, I'll I be doing these once a month, I think. And that's about it, really. I don't really want to do too much. Um, oh, my friend Cog's live. Nice. Happy birthday, Stick Sex and Hammer. So, because I've got the add-on, 1.1k upvotes, 4.7k downvotes. Is Amber still growing? Uh, Subscriber-wise, you can argue yes. But size physically, well, based on the angle, it's not flattering, is it? Um, it's not ideal. Um, Amber drops under five. Yeah, she does. Uh, hi, hot tea. Sorry, hot hot tea. It's, it's two T's in there, and I don't know how to say it. Um, I need knocking on wood and lots of prayers that my Wednesday interview goes well. Fingers crossed, bookworm addict. Everyone, uh, please wish them the best. Hello, Glamasaurus Rex. Hope you're well. Um, hello, Liz Lucas, if I haven't said it already. Um, Let's go to this top comment. If you can order food, then you can order groceries. That is true. Because she used to do it on Amazon. Something which I fundamentally disagree with as a viable option. You live in a state. There are options. We know where you are. So we also know that there are plenty of options available for you to get food. Um, my therapist once told me that some people are addicted to setting goals. That the act of setting goals, journaling, making lists, talking about them, gives them that dopamine hit that others might get from actually accomplishing those goals. So once the goals are set, the dopamine rushes over and they don't care about actually achieving it. I think this describes Amberlynn Reed perfectly. She gets a rush, hi Michael, from setting and making goals, talking about them, making lists and calendars and cute little journal entries. But once that part is done, she loses interest. To me, she's a uh, high tree, all the gear and no idea. It, it's um, There's a guitar version of it called Gear Acquisition Syndrome, where for her, it's um, Hello Verity. She'll acquire or acquire all the um, uh, gear to make it seem like she's doing something. Hello, fly on the wall. Uh, but in reality, she's not. She's not interested in actually doing the work, because like Chantel, she'll just fake some injury and that's it. You know. A new vlog. So today is my Can you hear this? thirty-third birthday. I'm thirty-three. There was a thing on Twitter I saw earlier before I carry on playing. I need to speed her up. 1.5 um, where someone pointed out you don't see people her size in their 50s and 60s and there's a reason for it and I am I hate the fact that there's a truth to that well a majority truth for that um, Amber 33rd is not it's not I mean I'm, I'm happy birthday to you of course my birthday was on uh, the 15th it was on Monday uh, and um, I, I fully uh, I would not dunk on you for having a birthday, or for being uh, a fellow, and I believe this is correct, Capricorn. Um, yeah, acquisition syndrome is annoying. I'm dealing with that right now. Are you? I, I'm not. I like my guitars, and I refuse to get rid of any of them. Oh, they did just trade some in, and that was awesome. Um, yes, anyway, yeah, so 
yeah, three, it's current. and that just seems like a really good number. Three. Did, she, did did Amber stream for her birthday or anything? Thank you, Nova. I appreciate that. They're very, very important in my family. So I just feel good. I feel good about the year coming up. So right now I'm wearing my hair like this. We have some yellow hoops. I'm currently listening to a podcast, the H3 podcast. I just want to say, if you're listening to a podcast while vlogging, you're not really taking your job seriously, are you? Although I could argue listening to the H3 podcast does have a lot of dead air in it, so it's possible you can find time in your very hectic schedule of doing a two-minute video every day and then making that into a 15-minute video is actually okay. Am I paying attention to the drama that is going on in Goral World? Um, I've heard about it, Rampage. Um, I've heard there's a fair amount of um, scorched earth and anger and uh, vitriol um, and a lot of aggression. But uh, no, I have not. In, in truth, I've heard bits here and there, but I'm really not um, trying to pay attention because I know that... Um, some things have to resolve themselves. And so, and also if I get invested, I want to make a video on it. I can't. I know I can't. I get into so much trouble for that. Uh, recapture a teenage years. Um, well, yeah. I mean, when you slap enough Artex on your face, generally it does, yeah. Um, come across that way, doesn't it? Uh, actually, birthday. yes, thank you for the unbirthday message alone, Wolf. I appreciate that. And yes, it definitely is a lot of poop. A fly on the wall would totally understand that. Drawn to it like a moth to a flame. I am one of their podcasts behind because I just, I'm behind on like other people's vlogmas. Like, vlogmas is over. I'm behind on theirs to the tune of every single one of them. Um, once I realized they, they sucked at it, which was about 10 episodes in, it was a long time ago. Uh, and um, you don't watch my content enough, Amber. I'm just saying, I need the views given. No, <laughs> don't really watch my shit. Over for most people. Some people go to like- just You'll just be confused about the upvotes. Day 25. I'm still on people's like day eight. So I'm just behind on all the YouTube. All the- Maybe you should focus less on everyone else's content, uh, on everyone else's content, and instead focus on actually making videos. You should start doing something because this non-tent era is, I mean, it's, it's as bad as your, um, you're uh, looking for a new Kara era thing on TikTok with the first posting. Yeah, we'll get to some of that soon. YouTube. But today I'm wearing my rainbow striped dress, which I love so much. Um, Generally, black's meant to be slimming when the stripes go a different way. Um, I'm just going to be spending the day with my mom a little bit later. And then I think Saturday Hi, is when I'm really going to like celebrate my birthday. I'm not really sure what I want to get into, but I'll figure it out when the time comes. But already today, like I've only been awake for a few hours and I've gotten so many birthday wishes from you guys. So thank you so much. Like it's greatly appreciated. Okay, guys. So I forgot to tell you guys this. As you guys know, I have... Is this the next day? Oh, I've got the great... I've got the best... Pa just for those who don't know. Hello, Blake. I have the best pause face game. Exhibit A is right there for you. Ever isn't intelligent enough to understand most of your content. Sure. Sure. Let, let's go with that. I mean... That would mean she has no IQ points. So, hello, Nikki Chuckles. Hope you're well. Um, HFC, Amber, Foodie, and many others on FB are, food, are all about the buck. Uh, they don't care about the weight. That's very true, actually. Uh, hungry Fat Chick. Uh, I feel sorry for Hungry Fat Chick because she now knows she can't retain her audience because uh, she tried. And she was doing so well. I was so excited for her. Um, Nontent. Yeah, I did. it wasn't my word, just to be clear. I think that was somebody else. Um, well, it had to be somebody else. I just heard it in part. I saw it or heard it in passing. Maybe it was in one of my stream chats. But I know it was existing long before then. This nonsense era is a joke. I have been looking for the third eyelash perfume, which just recently came out. I've had eyelash number one since it came out. Eyelash number two, my ex got me. And eyelash... Oh, she kept saying to me, ex. That's cute. Number three. My mom got it for me for Christmas, and I forgot to show you guys. It comes in this beautiful red box. I am so freaking Hi, excited. Hope you're well. You guys... What? They just keep getting more beautiful. Like that. What is this? Again, is this perfume? I I still don't understand the um this um showing off all the perfume because it, it, she's done it every month. It's always uh, showing us a new perfume thing. Perfumes aren't cheap. She's wasting a lot of money on things to smell good. How and she must go through a lot as well. Like honestly, it's not just trying. I know he used not to. Yeah, I think. A lot of people have, I, mean, he, I know he's been using it a while as well. She has to be a stinky ball. I'll show that, don't you worry. I got you, bro. That is so stunning. Oh, smells so good. It has like a pepper smell. I don't really know. I'm. 
I'm bad at- Sorry, I had a pause face there. I'm going back for it. Oh, I don't really know. I'm- There we go. That's the one. Um, yeah, the shape's nice. Um, but, uh, for those who use um, perfumes of some kind, what do you use? I am not judging. Um, I am kind of curious. I have... Um, I have a... Uh, I got for Christmas Eros Flame uh, Versace. It's not that expensive. It's quite nice. Uh, that's what I'm using. Because I want to smell fabulous. Um, oh, thank you, Just the Thought. I really appreciate that. Why is my... I've not got live chat up. You an idiot, mate. I do a pre report. It's, it's stunning. I'm bad absolutely. at describing thank you. Um, the left seam oh. is so... Off with the ads, you cancer. How many minutes in was that? Let's find out. That was one minute and 47 seconds in we got an ad. One minute 47, Amber. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, though. There's a pause face for you guys. I really do have these um, angles. Uh, and yes, Amber is still alive. Name I could never even hope to be able to pronounce. I am so sorry. I'm not going to lie to you, but this one is my favorite of the three, hands down. I'm trying to like find the notes for you guys, so I'm like, why don't you just spray it and work it out for yourself? That's what some people do. A professional, like, perfume tryer tester on. Actually, curiosity. Do I have... Oh, sorry. I'll bring back the hamster for a minute. Do I have her um, weigh-in in this video? No, the goals don't have the weigh-in. So I'm going to skip ahead to another video instead because she's taking too long. Hey, guys. Shut so up. Sorry, I have to do that. Uh, browser. Ah, itchy ear. Wrong time. Ah, uh, nah. There we go. Um... Browser, there it is. This is the video I want to start. I think we should we should go to because the, the tar goal this my goals for twenty twenty four thing is pointless because she's spent the first two minutes doing. Oh, hang on, there's a, let's go here. Times a day. I know it's not good. I know I've known this, but oh, come twenty twenty four, just right, like on. ordering most of my food, I'll order about one to two times a day. I know it's not. Hasn't she been doing that for ages? Yeah. Yes, hamster stream. That socks. I miss her. Oh, socks. F in the chat for socks. Yes. I have to do essential oil or a custom bergamot cus citrus oil. Nice. Although more fast, nice. I like that. Um, I'm just going to quickly skip. Oh. I must have known that because why would I have said that? I think I just knew that subconsciously. So another goal is I'm going to be getting a therapist. I'm hoping to do that in January. If not wait, January, wait. February, but it needs to happen and it needs She's to happen soon. Another goal Hi, I have Smith. is to work on my poetry book. So I really, really want to publish a poetry book for you guys. I know that's wild. I know that's crazy. Actually, already started working on it. Um, It's a lot of hard work because I notice it like bubbling up a lot of different emotions. Have I have High. tried a lot because a lot of emotions go and into yes. my poetry. They all mean something to me. So it's been kind of hard, but it's something I really, really want to do and work on. So obviously... Everything ends as a question. Uh, let's skip ahead do a reenactment of a literal situation that happens more times than it should. Do to do, do, gotta go pee. Oh my god, wait, what if? Whew. You guys don't even know, it's the anxiety. That's very heavy handed. So this is a simple outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Barbie cardigan, which I love. So I was on the torrid.com. Is that a cardigan? And I was like, your girl has not shopped for Torrid in so long. And I saw the cutest Barbie sweater, but they didn't have my size. It was all sold out, which I'm really not surprised. So that sucks. But um, there are some other things that they have that I'm like, okay, your girl's going to get them. Love them. So I definitely recommend all of these. Amber blowing. Ready? <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't want to, like, spit on it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're a brat. <laughs> You're so cute, Amber. Thank you. Happy You're birthday. Right? Yes, happy birthday. <laughs> There's $33 in there. Wait, but I, you, I don't want to pop it. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go bugger. Oh, dear. This is cringe, but I, I actually, you know what? I'm going to go back and quickly say hello to people. Hello, um, Sally. Hello, Chaos. Hello, uh, Chaos for you, even. Hello, Leona. Hello, Pants on Fire. Kitty Taylor, if I haven't said it already. Uh, Jessica Rizzo. Hi. Um, this 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 part of the video before we go to the weigh-in video, obesity. Yes, I've seen that oddly, and I've heard that said to by uh, Nick Cardo, said to by Orlin. Um, this is actually a vlog. This straight up, I'll, I'll mute it for a second, just play it. This is actually what she could do for a vlog, actually do things. Yeah, this is fine, isn't it? You know, that's actually her doing stuff as opposed to earlier where she's just walking around her very small flat. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not no. 
Uh, no video on Sam and Yava's fights with the farmers. No rampage. Oh, jeez. I do not need that in my life. That would be an abs... I'm just... I don't... I'm not... No. No. On YouTube, you have to know when to pick your battles. Uh, I'm not stupid enough to pick a fight with the farms. I'm just not stupid enough. Regardless of whether you're right or not, don't. It's, it's like Q telling other Q, don't provoke the Borg. In this instance, the farms are the Borg. Don't provoke the farms. Just don't do it. Anyway, let's go to the next video, the first way in a 2024. Now, Leona in the chat wildling there has very kindly uh, put, given me a timestamp at eight minutes in, which is like here, yeah? So we get another ceiling way in, but I want to get to this bit here where it says most replayed part. So let's skip ahead a little. Let's put this on. Oh, by the way, 1k upvotes, 4.9k downvotes. Yeah, I do too. I stay away. I know that uh, I must ask as I do all streamers I watch. Creamy or crunchy? Peanut crunch. Oh, well, actually, I prefer the crunch. Um, I prefer the crunch. Um, and yes, I like Star Trek. Um, yeah, no, I like crunchy peanut butter, personally. Uh, I know there's a context where you could probably want not crunchy, but I think you're a blasphemous heathen at that point. Um, stop wearing that coat inside pretending you just got back. You're not fooling anyone but yourself. Top comment, by the way. But it's not. If Tammy hasn't motivated you to change, absolutely nothing. Oh, Slatten. Tammy Slatten is the one I never thought who would change. I genuinely didn't think Tammy would be the one to change. I really didn't think. I was completely blown away by that. Let us play. A little moment. I don't oh, know. I, I guess you guys will find out with me. So this is my closet and normally I keep this door open and this door open because I just like them to be open. But Rarity keeps playing with my balloons and I'm about to leave the um, apartment. So it's like, I don't want her to like hurt herself with like the ribbon or whatever. So I have to keep both of my doors shut, which hate that. Why don't you just sit down, enjoy the helium for what it is. And uh, yeah. Why not poke the beluga group? Because <laughs> uh -huh, their battle's not worth picking. And I'm not going to pick that fight, Chaos. Um, hello, Otaku Jet Gamer Judas. TNG is for me. TNG's king, I like it. G oh, well, John, John Delancey, is that his name? Yeah, he was awesome. Okay, so before and Makes after, sense. I got matte black and my mom got rainbow and I chose all the colors for her. <laughs> I like the colors. I'm not going to deny. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, guys, so I'm currently doing my grocery shopping, and we have my typical- A shitload of fizzy and more of that zero Gatorade trash you like. Raw veggies and cottage cheese. Baby food, gotcha. And sausage about to start. And my new favorite cleaner ever, Clorox. I'd like to tell you there are better ones available to you, but the only time I've ever heard of Clorox was a meme of, of Chris Raygun drinking a bottle of it. All-purpose cleaner, which I'm sure everyone in the mom knows all about it. I'm just very much used to using the brand method, so I've been using that for years until I was like, "Let me try Clorox. It actually works better." I've been on the problem. We can agree to disagree on that. Uh, helium in vain attempt to make it. Well, maybe that, or to get high and then be like, "I'm now a helium person, so I'm gonna have a helium party, and we're all gonna do videos speaking in a squeaky voice." Schrodinger's fetishism. Oh, that's interesting. Tammy up blue. Yeah. I, my husband, yeah, that genuinely sucked. Um, but yeah, it's baby food. It is absolutely it is. Uh, I think should do, yeah, but the helium part is hilarious. Um, okay, uh, it is definitely our girl, Sarah. Hope you're well. Oh, for the peanut butter, some for soon, too, so I had to literally ask someone. I don't know where to start. With her. Pause. I don't know where to start with her because that's the the Kuwait return and yeah, no, I don't know what. The very aisle I did not Hi, want Michael. to go to. Hope you're well, well. there's quite a few I didn't want to go to, but all right, well, found it, and now I have everything. All right, so I came home to drop everything off. Everything is thrown in there pretty messily. I don't really have that much time because I'm actually about to go out to dinner with my mom and her boyfriend. Look at this person's car. Like that's neat, and I kind of like the car too. It looks like candy canes. It looks like trash. Yeah, the it's colors are uh, red and white. Cute. So I have been home for a bit now. I did order some alcohol, but it was over two hours ago and it still has not arrived yet. So I ended up talking to customer service because I was confused. I was like, what is happening? And yes, something about like uh, I'll system. give you Elwood, you're right. At least at the food store for this one. Hello, antiseptic. Um, I made the TED talk on dirigibles. Wait, what? I like that. 
system shut down so they're trying to get it to work again Ugh. so then they accidentally canceled my order so then i just like replaced the order i don't know it's 9 14 p.m right now so it is getting a little late but i am hoping that my drinks do get here within like i guess the hour or so because i do want to drink tonight i also ordered jack in the box like so gross so bad for you but like i really am starting you know just out of curiosity what is jack in the box um because i don't actually know what that is and if my chair's creaking it annoys you uh, i'm very sorry uh, I'm not familiar with um, Jack. I have a healthy diet, eat a lot of Mediterranean meals and copious amounts of avocados. Nothing like that. Say, uh, all PB is good as long as it's natural. If you like crunch, try two TB's, tablespoons of PB mix with a quarter of salt. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, fresh tomorrow, January 1st. Totally Amberlynn coated. I love starting fresh on January 1st. Something about it is just nice. It's just... Yeah, but you give up after like two days, Amber. Bitch, I'm, I'm getting to your weigh-in. Let's see, like last year you started at 5.29 or something. Let's go to your weigh-in. Yeah, here we are. You, you, oh, hang on. Hang on. This oh, is what happens when your kids fuck. get... Right off. Just no. Skip. Right. So your next... First of all, is an ad. Right. Things happen. So I just hope we'll have an amazing year. So it's the next day. Hello everyone. It is January 1st, 2024. As you guys know, one of my goals for this year is to weigh myself daily because I feel like... Yeah, that fell apart pretty quick, just as a spoiler. It helps me stay on track, truly. Like, uh -huh. if you guys ever heard outside uh -huh. out of mind? Like, if I'm not weighing myself, then that means I'm just yeah. not caring. Squeaky chair for the wind, Luffy. This year. I probably so, should prepare it. Daily weigh-ins. It was, Michael. One. It I was. I already know. Like, I literally feel it. Hello. It's ready. So yeah, she did say she was going to dinner with her mother, um, but to be honest, she doesn't vlog anything. She just does little setup clips and then goes, I'll make this into a video. From 295 to 250, David Ashfield, you're smashing it. You've dropped three stone nearly and you're doing fantastic work. All right. And it is a slow process. Anything worth doing is hard. And you will continue to succeed for as long as you want to. With great support around you, you will be better. All right? You'll get to where you need to be to live a longer, better life. All right, here we go. And you're, you're less than ha half a wire amber away, so more than less than half a wire away, so you're fine. First weigh-in of 2024. If she weighs more than 530, I'm going to be really, really shocked. Five hundred and fifteen point eight pounds. Five, so, fifteen point eight. Right, five one five point eight. That is, I think, that thirteen pounds ish less than what she weighed at the start of last year. At the start of last year, she said she wanted to weigh three hundred ninety nine by the end of the year. Well, she's five fifteen. She is nowhere near it. Somehow worse than McDonald's. Oh, okay, well, I don't do I don't like McDonald's either. So thankfully, I'm not really a fast food person. Um, I think I had some McDonald's uh, after a funeral uh, a little over a week ago, and I wasn't a big fan, but I needed food, uh, and it was the only thing I could get my hands on at that time. Uh, and I, yeah, no, no. Oh my lord! There it is. All right, let's do this thing, you guys. Let's all reach our goals this year. Okay, so as you guys know, I bought this monthly calendar. Oh, here we go. One of those flipping calendars, you know what I'm talking about. This is just strictly to write my weights down. Um, this is just like the cover page because I enjoy I'm making you feel like it's delicious. Off, I was like, okay, that's a lot, but it's actually not. Um, January is right there. Don't you guys find it so satisfying that January 1st falls on a Monday? No, it doesn't matter what day it is. If you're going to commit to something rather than treating it as a beginning of a beginning, as in a day and a month and a week and a year. The first day has to be the Monday. That way it keeps me on track because now I'm staying honest and true and I've got the whole week to smash it. No. Because technically your first day of the week is is a Sunday. So you failed already, haven't you? But also it's a silly idea. Like that is so satisfying for me because it's like the beginning of a week, beginning of a new year. I'm just obsessed with that. All right. Yeah, but you don't commit after, Amber. This is terrible. So I was five... 15.8. All right, I can see myself Wait, you getting left into the 400s oh, no. in just January. Keep my oh, fingers yeah, crossed. Yeah. I have to do the work though. It's not something I can just wish for. It's something I have to actively try for and work towards. Hey guys, I have a really quick target haul. Bun Bun, I'm glad that you're enjoying listening to this. 
doing what she needs to do. Yes, okay. I agree. I agree. I like I had a night last night, so just ignore me. I needed some more dry shampoo, and I really love... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pronounce this right. It's a Batiste. Hi, Ola. I don't know. Instant hair refresh. It's my favorite. I needed some makeup remover, Neutrogena makeup remover, ultra soft cleansing towelettes. Also my favorite. You just buy maxi pads. But what I really wanted and needed is I got the Ninja Blast portable... I remember Sarah speaking, uh, Duck Twack Quackers, hi. I remember speaking to some Americans on my survey years ago, and they always said that the week started on a Sunday. And I was baffled by this. It, 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 apparently, to, for them, it was the, uh, how their business worked or something. Uh, and it was a few people who actually had it this way, and I couldn't understand it. Um, but apparently, for some people, that is the case. I don't, know, don't think it's all. Wonder. I wanted the white one, but they sadly did not have it because your girl is about to start making some smoothies. I'm thinking oh, no. I'm gonna have one today. Um, I Ask choke, I dare you. Used to have a ninja moment, but in my move, I got rid of a lot of stuff. 70% of like what I owned, I got rid of. So that was one of the things. Y'all, I'm back on my shit with the cottage cheese and mustard. So for dinner tonight, I'm having turkey. Quickly, just to address this, Orla, uh, in our house, we put holidays and birthdays on ours and cleaning schedule rotors. That's what we do with our calendars. Kielbasa, broccoli, peppers, celery, carrots, asparagus, pickles, radish, um, green olives with garlic, and of course, the mustard and cottage cheese. Yeah, uh, heavily sliced sausage because you can't do big bites. Um, crap broccoli because stem is superior. Um, some pointless pickles and olives and uh, baby food on the side to dip all that crap in. I'm kidding. Some of that, I'm sure, is delicious, but um, I will judge harshly because I'm Meg. Uh, and I judge harshly because that's a sausage. I have not had this in forever. I remember when I would eat this way, it just made me feel so much better. I was losing weight, and I, I don't know, I just felt better. So I will talk more about, like, what I am doing to lose weight fully um, in a future video. And I'm definitely going to be showing more of, like, the things I'm eating and such, but okay, I'm going to go eat. Uh, this is basically uh, a meal of sodium. And uh, it's also what I consider a student diet in the sense of I can't give it a name because I've just slapped as many ingredients onto a plate in an incomplete meal because I've got to construct it and then bake it later in a pastry dish of some kind with some gravy and call it a <clears throat> pie. This now. All right, guys, I officially finished my Pac-Man Lego. Are you ready for the big reveal? Is that what you call your meal? Oh, that makes more sense now. Well. Cool. It took a lot of time. It was a lot of effort. It took weeks. Are you ready? Bam. There it is. <sighs> wow, this took me forever. There was like- You're trolling, shut up. Okay, let's, right, where were we? We were here. Oh, the am I going to t in, uh, going on TLC? That was, um, yes, that was interesting. I want to do this and this one. Oh, hang on. Lying about my weight, I'm so mad at myself. Oh, right, we're gonna definitely gonna do that and that. With an HS. No. I will mute you because I don't want to hear you. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, we have a weigh in. Ooh. Here we go. Um, Hello, everybody. Welcome. No. Let's uh, speed it up. My apologies. To a vlog, so today is January 2nd, so that means this is our second daily weigh in of the year. So let's get right into it. Smoothies yeah. can actually, Virginia, you're absolutely right. All right, stepping on now 517.8 pounds, 517. She's put two pounds on, and that is January the 5th, so it's two days after the first video. Let's get Meg on TLC. I'm like 195. I, I, what is TLC? I'm not. Is that one of those? Is that a fat show? I, I I'm like I'm six five and I'm nothing. Rick Mail's Friday Fry Up. Oh, Rick Mail was a great comedian. Point eight. Okay, I am so dumb. Yesterday I thought I was five eighteen point something, but it looks like I gained weight, which I'm actually. Let me guess. It was water and sodium. Not surprised. I know. Don't forget here. To maintain her, it was the kill. Well, it was it was the kill bus. It must have been um, true life channel. Oh, was it? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's not really much of a thing over here. Um, just the thing on this. Um, first of all, you putting on weight is not a surprise because now you're going to quit the entire year. You know, a lot of people are going to be like, "Wow, so Amber Lynn coded. Of course, she's going to gain weight at the beginning of the new year." And honestly, yep. yeah, I'm going to put a sad face 
because all day yesterday I did amazing and I don't know what hit me at nighttime, but it wasn't cute. Um, I actually ended up ordering Jack in the Box. So I think what I'm gonna do is every day I'm gonna like, don't try and sugarcoat it. We know you ordered it at that point and some point during the day as well. Don't forget here to maintain that weight. And to gain that weight, you have to eat phenomenal amounts of food. If I want to put on two pounds of weight, all I do is walk less. Yeah? That's all I have all I do, because I eat quite a bit of I eat a lot of I eat a lot. But I burn a lot because of what I do. Yeah? Uh to Ooh, I like that, Anne. That's a good idea. Oh, Annie. Um, oh, but sisters, no, sister I'm wives. I'm going to put a sachet on a day prior if I was not on track, but I'm going to put a heart if I was on track. So obviously my bad choices at night did disrupt my fluctuation. Bad choice, is that what we're going to call that? Does this mean this year's a write-off now, Amber? ...are like the progress I could have made in just one day because it is possible to make progress in one day, just like it's possible to not make <coughs> progress. Yeah. Just like I did. So yeah, our current yeah. walking song, even though she can't hear it except for my AirPods, Lost in the Fire. The weekend has always truly done something for me. So poop buns don't exist here anymore unless you have a day like this where you're mopping your whole apartment. Because my hair is long as hell. So this is my hair for the day so it doesn't get in the way. So one chore that I really hate besides cleaning the toilet is mopping. I really don't... I, I feel like we shouldn't have to know about the fact you don't like dealing with the consequence of your choice. Um... It, it is a TMI, but at least you haven't told us about dingleberries. Or perhaps going the old Roman method of using a cloth on a stick. I don't know what it is, but I've always hated mopping. But I think I'm in love with it now because I love this little doodad. Like, isn't that so fun? I don't know. But yeah. First of all, as a cleaner, I'm going to tell you now, Amber, you're soaking your floor too much. If your intention was to soak the floor at first, to then allow the cleaning agent in the water to um, to act on the floor and with the heat of the water to react better with the dirt particles to help agitate and remove, that is fine. However, what I'm seeing here is not that at all. Everything smells like pine salt now, which is my favorite. Okay, so no, if you you're using too much amber. Um, so uh, perhaps, as, as, as an expert, yes, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I would highly recommend you instead put the sodding foam down and do it properly with both hands. And if you're going to soak the floor first, soak the floor, but make sure you are nowhere near the wet floor because I damn well know for certain you're not getting up once you fall down. I have no doubt in my mind, once you've soaked that floor, you hide in the one patch of your flat that hasn't been touched. Uh, I sound like cleaning's my job. Oddly enough, <laughs> thank you for highlighting that. Yes, uh, I have. I've been self-employed as a cleaner since twenty thirteen or fourteen. It's been a while. And pine cells shite. Just lemon cleaners better. It cuts through dirt so much easier. You guys remember my vlog from yesterday? I decided I'm going to start this building block situation type deal. It's Astro Boy. Cool. Let's skip ahead track i will talk a little bit more Ooh. about like 515 517 516 514 I'm doing here we way. go i just kind of want to do it first before i talk about uh -huh. it if that makes sense uh -huh. so people were uh -huh. contacting me saying like are you gonna be on tlc has tlc contacted you and the answer is yes tlc has contacted me more times I, than I, I have done quite well. a few interviews for different tv shows um there's actually a popular tv show that literally is running that interviewed me last year and i was fixing to get up it's just like you getting your surgery. Move just to be a part of the TV show. And I kind of want to like share a story time about that. But that'll be in another video. Um, What I actually want to talk about now is like TLC recently contacted me. And I guess. And bookworm addicts. I do tend to agree, but I clean a pub with really horrible wooden floors. So I I would rather use a mop. But I use a very, I, I'm fussy about this stuff. Supposedly a producer that was contacting me also contacted a few like Instagrams that like had my face on it. I don't know the full story but that's like uh -huh. how everyone found out that TLC was talking to me because TLC ended up responding to one of the Instagram messages saying yeah I'm you know actually talking to her blah blah. So yes they- I suppose you would go on to my, my, my 600 pound life but then I guess it'd be very difficult to get you to commit to doing something for yourself when they tell you that you know you, you're gonna have to you know, walk away from the internet for a bit. Um, and by the way, I have her sped up, I think, at 1.5. Yeah. So she, this is at 1.5. If I just put it down to normal speed, that breathing between sentences gets even worse. Uh, business maybe work with me. Uh, I hate it because she didn't have any standards of professionalism. 
I, uh, well, I mean, I, do, I, I hold a very high standard. I can't abide crap work. They contacted me saying that Doctor Now, Doctor Who's already yeah, in from um, Central Home Life, is actually going to be like doing a new TV show, and they wanted me to be a part of it. So I was supposed to set up a phone call with the lady who contacted me and stuff, uh -huh. but I actually got a message from her today saying like we need the people who are going to be on the show to be five hundred and fifty pounds or higher, like closer to, like to the six hundred mark. So I was. Well, that would take you two days of just eating your usual stuff. Hi, Em. You've missed 40 minutes of Amber making excuses and losing a little bit of weight. About a pound. It's like, oh, well, that's not me. So obviously I had to tell her my real weight, which you guys saw today. I actually told No, we didn't. We just saw you write it down. Uh, yeah. For 516, because I hadn't even gotten out of bed when I replied to her message. I was just like, yeah, like 516, but the scale actually said 514 today. Two pounds ain't gonna make a difference. But anyways, I'm not heavy enough to be on this new show. And it just kind of got me thinking that, like, how... I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing for, your, for you. It's bad for your brand, of course, when you want to be seen doing stuff. Um, and your first job was a cleaner, David. Um, well, my first one was that, I guess, as a kid, helping my mother clean office buildings. Yeah. How is 516 pounds, 514 pounds, how is that not heavy enough to be on one of these types of shows? I, th I think you've got a point here, and your story on YouTube is one of genuine curiosity. Because you're not as exciting as others, yet I get more views talking about you. You get more views than Chantel, and Chantel is much more of a train wreck. Like, you're just, you are very interesting but you produce no content. Your story is one of massive contradictions and constantly undermining yourself and others. You are known for being an absolute joke, but you really are that. Yet you're not interesting enough because you're not heavy enough. I feel like I need help just as much as someone who's 550. Like thoroughly, if you're over 400 pounds in general. Pets aren't- Sod off with the ad. Just animals. Although I do agree with this uh, animal friendly insurance thing. Right. Oh, you dickhead. I'm gonna vlog, so today's Sorry. To me, saying like like 516, but the scale goes. I feel like I need help just as much as Here someone who's 550. Hi, like, Denise. Like, over 400 pounds in general. Like, it's time to, like, crack down. And it's Yeah, Amber is a dainty queen, hence the name of the stream. Um, she's too skinny. Uh, and obviously, being so skinny, uh, she can stand on her dangling ankle more. Yeah. It's like, for some reason, I have all the tools. I know all the tools. I have all the knowledge. I Yet you never apply it to your life or do anything to better yourself. Instead, favoring being an absolute tool and making your life as difficult as possible when you constantly seek to want to make it better and fail miserably because you don't want to be better. Your views would go down if you lost the weight. We can agree. How does it feel knowing, though, that you're losing your views while you're still that size? Because if you'd lost 200 pounds, yeah, or you weighed now what you weighed when you started, but you had these views now, that wouldn't be so bad. But now if you change, you're going to lose all the support. Uh, she's interesting because she did disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gina, um, through other people is more interesting. Um, it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, she did. She started at 360... something. Yeah, it was early 360s. And I remember the video because it was in my very first content constable. Her poor, poor Dankle. Yes. Yes, it was. Um, I'm going to shamelessly, by the way, plug. If you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to like. It really helps us here. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. I've done this millions of times before. Like, I know how to lose weight, but for some reason, like, I don't put those... What? <laughs> Looking to the side is the telltale sign of somebody who's lying. So let's just go back and hear that again. I've done this millions of times before. Like, I know how to lose weight, but for some reason... Like... Uh-huh. 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 One more time. Just just one more. This millions of times before. Like, I know how to lose weight, but for some reason... Like... Uh-huh. I'm going to do it one more time, actually. This millions of times before. Like, I know how to lose weight, but for some reason... <laughs> no, you don't. Because knowing and acting come from knowing. Yeah? You've been told, you've read up things, you, you think you know, 
But actually, the one thing you can't do comes from knowledge as well. And it's the knowledge that it's going to be very difficult. And that knowledge stops you doing anything. It's why you didn't get the weight loss surgery, because it was a life hack. Hi, Shady Lane. Hope you're well. Like, you... Hello, Dark Moon Chronicles. You, you don't know how to lose weight. You know how to cut corners. You think you can brag and do better for yourself, but you don't actually do anything better for yourself. You've undone everything you've ever ever sought to do on this, and you're still 200, nearly you know, 160 pounds. You're, you're a stupid amount heavier than what you were when you started. Her mouth is moving, yes. She was a doctor, yes. She's uh, got a um, PhD from WebMD. The reason like, I don't put those things into action, like it is so hard. It's like literal torture. Yeah, that's generally the point. Losing weight is you coming to terms with the consequence of your choice. Hello, Hardly Dan. Hope you're well. If you're unwilling to, to change, then you're never going to be better. Simple as that. Amber, this is simple. And I want to know more about that. And I think that's why like, I'm very eager to... You say eager to... You've been told why by psychiatrists and you ditched them. To get a therapist, like, uh -huh. soon. Okay. Uh -huh. Now I'm just completely rambling. I'm going off on like one topic to another. I came here to tell you that yes, TLC wanted me to be on a new show. Got like a lot of fur on your head on your shirt. Um, TLC wants on a show. Oh, they were gonna like shit. interview me, talk to me, whatever. But I'm not big enough for them. <laughs> I mean, you might be. You might be. I mean, it could be one hell of a swerve when you go on there and we find that you're actually five, I don't know, five sixty six or something. Effort isn't her repertoire. Very true. Easy way out is always the option she would prefer. And that's and a lot of people would choose it. She's never not rambling. Agreed. This video is trash. Lying about my way. Hey guys, welcome to a new... So we have this. We have, a, we have no best replay part. We do have this though. Ooh. Ooh. Want to spend more time... No, shut up. I don't use Shopify. You can absolutely do one. Oh look, it's the next day, everyone. This one has a lot of down votes as well. Still got one K up vote, so. Right, let's get the that on. Let's see if there's a way in here, yeah? My shin itches. I'm gonna scratch my shin. Oh, that's better. Right. Why is it muted? Oh. Morning, Sorry. morning. My body feels like January twelfth. Okay. Normally people say hit by a semi truck, but I feel like it was hit by a toy car. Because I do feel that walk from yesterday. It's nothing uh -huh. insane, but my body feels it. If you hear that water dripping, it's because we have to lightly have the faucet dripping because it's so cold here, freezing temperatures. So uh, it's to prevent the pipes from like freezing, I guess. I don't know. I just got an email about it from the apartment complex. So I'm just listening to them. It's time to weigh in. Hello, it's ready. Yay. So Everyone's weigh in time. Let's hear how well she's doing. 509.6 pounds. <gasps> 509.6. Oh wow, 509.6, dangling Ken Kenkel Lin, yeah, Mathematician Lin, WebMD Lin, Orange Chicken Lin is doing sublime work here, folks. She's lost more weight this year than, than Chantal, congratulations. Yay, we're out of the 510s, now we're in the- This is not a flex. Single digits. All right, 509.6. You weigh still more than 300 right i don't know 14 pounds more than me you're close to your starting weight more than what i weigh this is terrible she dropped the dingle must have must have they must have, must have passed six i got that so sloppy because i was looking at it through the camera let's not do that again that's, that's actually yeah, a point is. regina she's still got fifty-four thousand views on this but no there's no most rewatched moment which means this video is I must have rewatch I mean, a thirteen minute video. Yeah. The 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 re viewer retention on this must be horrendous. It must be. It was an on track day. But look. She's got she started at five nineteen or five fifteen or something, and now she's her, her chart's looking improved. This is good. But she's not really doing anything, is she? So I feel like soon I'm gonna explain to you guys like right, five fifteen point eight. She's dropped just over six pounds. Yeah. Did you watch the mile walk? No, I didn't radioactive. Should I go and watch that? Is that here? Is that in this video? Where's the walk? Let's go find it. Which video is it? Uh, 
Cross hole. What am I doing to lose weight? Can I walk? Ah, hang on. That is... Hang on, did I just skip it? I did. I am so sorry. Let's go see if she can walk a mile at 500. Yeah. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Wouldn't you want to weigh yourself weekly since your body weight can fluctuate within a day? Uh, you'd think, actually. Uh, can you channel but watch tons of your content last month? Oh, thank you, Kat. I really appreciate that. Edit Lynn. Well, Edit Lynn is best Lynn, of course. Uh, let's go find... Okay, so we have... Let's... Oh, there's no most watched... Oh, hang on. It's the next day. Uh, is there a walk? Bingo. Oh, hang on. Here we go. The Tui live happy. No, stupid ads. Oh, Foodie Beauty's live right now. I'm not going to snipe though. I can't do that. Oh yes, if you'd like to support me, please consider doing so by stream up. Thank you. Welcome back, Leona. I hope you got food. I was muted. It was a couple years ago, and I couldn't. That's actually that makes me want to try Loki because a few years ago I could only do this. <laughs> God, I remember this. I remember saying to her, you know, this is not enough. You need to lift your legs more. Uh, taping the tub. I don't know. My breathing is really bad today. <sighs> so, two minutes, 19 seconds. This is a wee bit disheartening. So today, I am going to see, can I walk a mile or even close to it? I'm actually really freaking excited. Remember I'm serves. Didn't you manage 500 yards or something around the time of uh, Kankelgate? Twinkie, I have an app on my phone called Map My Walk, so it's going to be able to track how well. far I'm walking. So, let's go. Okay, so I've been walking for like a minute. I do have Twinkie with me. And it went from excited to nervous because it's like I'm afraid. Am I not going to be able to Oishi. do this? Fair enough, Luke. I think I'm putting too much enough. pressure on myself because it's like I haven't been able to walk a mile, I don't know, over a decade. So, like, why do I think I can do it now? I this don't know. This is interesting. She is literally sniffing and stopping. I want to know if, if Amber can make a, uh, uh, make, uh, a mile or not yet. Every two seconds. Because if she could do a mile, right? Just think about this. If she could, she actually could do more, push herself harder, go further. But she's going to want it, hasn't she? Got some crosswalk moments. Uh, she's okay. more So mechanic. I've done a quarter of a we'll mile so far. Soon, I'm doing pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Twinkie is just having the time of her life. It's been nice. I'm enjoying it. Now I'm trying to decide, do I want to go up that hill? Or do I want to turn right or left? I think I want to go up the hill. That's going to make things more difficult for me, but... Walking up hills, good for you. Uh, good for your core muscles. Um, it's why if you're on a treadmill, uh, stick to an elevation, inc uh, inc get a decent elevation on it. Uh, it helps your uh, abdominal muscles. Uh, that will serve you well as well with your back strengthening as well. I wanted to keep going straight. All right, we walked up the hill. Didn't we, baby girl? Hang on. Based on what she considered the area where she rolled her ankle to be a hill, um, what's the belief that the hand is not, uh, the, uh, the hill is nothing more than someone merely cupping their hand on the desk? My baby mama, but she owes me child support. <laughs> really? So walk down it. So I've been walking for about 26 minutes, which is kind of a lot <laughs> for me. I know some people finish one mile in like literally like six minutes. <laughs> not me. So now I'm gonna turn around. Uh, well, you are carrying a lot more weight, and you're not used to the walking process. Um, for me, I think maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know how long it takes me to a mile. I walk fairly slowly, though. Maybe 15 minutes? I don't know. No heavy breathing? Yes, that's true, actually. Go back where I came from, and it'll be a full mile. Well, that could I'm be the, It could be the microphone uh, not picking it up. I am alive. I'm breathing. I'm okay. Twinkie's good. I've definitely improved. I mean, this is just like, uh -huh. proof is in the pudding. We are now walking down the hill. I will say, walking is kind of boring, but there's so many- Put some music on and just enjoy it. I don't know. Uh, I most definitely do walking the hills in Seattle. I hate the corn back down by the I like what we got some hills where I live, and I like coming up them. It's good. Uh, well, that like makes it more entertaining. And plus, I have like my music playing. I have a cute little Twinkie walking with me. So I know these angles have been just brilliant. We're three fourths right. of the way done. John, don't come here to One fourth to go. Paper. This is like Charlie Horse City. So I'm gonna have to be drinking some Gatorade for real. I don't have Charlie horses now, but I know that they're they're on their way. What's a Charlie horse? Is that a cram? They're on their way to visit, but I surprisingly feel good. <laughs> I'm shocked. So I will see uh -huh. you guys when we're done with the full mile when I'm home.
Twinkie and I did it. I don't know what else to say other than we did it. And I think we were about 10 minutes away from home and I started crying. Um, it was just, it wasn't like an ugly cry, but it was just like a few tears, emotional. The fact that I could do it just makes me so happy. I mean, to an extent, I am proud of you for doing it. This can sound quite strange for me, of course, but do it. Do it every day and increase the distance every single day, whether it be by a yard a day or 10 yards a day, it doesn't matter. Do it, your body will develop a tolerance. Doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, shining, do it, yeah? I, I think if you think that you did that and it was worth it, then do more of it. Whether it's boring or not, it doesn't matter. At the same time, you're not sticking or proving this, or proving the haters uh, wrong. You're not sticking it on them by saying, look, I can do these things, because they don't actually care whether you can do it or not. They're just pointing and laughing at the fact that you managed to somehow mute out with a noise reduction your breathing. I saw your mouth move to breathe. It was fairly conclusive, to be honest. Um, but yeah, keep walking. Just keep going. And that will actually help you lose weight. You'll find, and I I find, I'm not the hungriest of people. I love my food. Um, but you, you, the more active you are, the less inclined you'll be to just graze and uh, eat pointlessly. Yeah. Uh, you should do it at least once a week, I think. Yeah, I agree. You're not missing anything on the Foodie Beauty stream, am I? No? Well, we're going to be covering some of Foodie's uh, month so far, uh, soon. I am going to ignore this tearful nonsense, this drivel. Uh, we've got hey this guys. last one. I think it's, is this the last one? Yes, yeah, the last one. My thoughts on Beck. So this is bait, this video. It has to be. Um, the discussion is, I believe, that Becky wants to do an interview now. And I think Mr. Snowflake is the one that's going to be doing that. If that happens, uh, I'm not going to do that. Walking and doing dance game on Nintendo Wii. She's dark inside. Well done. Uh, and also we smashed it. Well done, especially that. Um, most people who are trying to lose weight or get more healthy forget that it's a slow steps and towards me. exactly. Focus and and commitment are vital to it. And you always slip. You always slip. Uh, Amber has slipped for ten years. Um, but Amber is mentioning Bex here because I know everyone knows she just she needs Bex. Becky for views, straight up. She needs Becky. Uh, she she's got no content. Uh, so let's let's get to this last video, and then we're gonna move on to Chantel uh, for a bit. As it is January thirteenth, and if you remember, Wait, hang on, is this the most recent video? Oh wow, she's been off been off for a while. Then it's January thirteenth. It's the twentieth now. This was uploaded four days ago. Oh dear, you ran out of videos, didn't you? Where is it? This one? Yes. Didn't even break a thousand likes. Interesting. Remember from my last vlog, I was not on track last night. I was on track the whole day. Uh -huh. And then I just, I don't know, I became weak. Uh, so I, think I have they a broke plan up. I am going to be gaining weight today. Because Amber was cheating on it. But let's step on the scale and find out. What was the other way around? I can never remember. Okay, stepping on. 510.0 So you're back in the doubles, I see. 510.0. Oh my god, I did not gain as much as I thought I was going to, so... You must have had the biggest poop ever. That is a big relief. The guilt I feel from being off track, though, definitely motivates me to stay on track today. You might find that some of that weight, the food, hasn't been digested yet. Alright, whoops! Oh no! That bothers me, but we're gonna ignore it. Tip X. 510.0 and yesterday was you right wrong was the off track day y'all it is freezing it's like literally 10 degrees outside i just came back in with walking twinkie and i swear my fingers are numb now i'm about to go out we're, me and my mom are gonna hang out might... is she saying 10 degrees or fahrenheit because 10 degrees celsius is not cold I surprised my grandma and show up there. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. There was an earthquake last night. Like, what is happening? I'm not cut out for this type of weather. Like, I want the spring and the fall. Uh, Annie, um, Amber cheats because she messages other people to set up new people. Not even a joke. She, She's kind of a serial relationship person. She's been trying to, because of her notori uh, notoriety, she's been trying to get somebody now and just 
failing miserably. Why is her ceiling shiny? Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess it's the only thing she can't put her hands on. 24-7. Like, that's what I need in my life. And that's what should be here. I don't know. Day. Not icicles and snow. Like, I'm just not in it to win it. Okay, so we're about to go into this place called Big Box. It's just like a bunch of Amazon stuff that was never delivered. It's a bin store. Let's go look. Oh, God. This looks like a place where you'd be like, I collect everything in this in this room. I will take it. If I, if I had 100,000 views right now, I'd, I'd buy it all. Yeah, I have um, Bun Bun these electric pocket warmers. I use those. I've got gloves and a snood and a hat, you know, woolly hat and stuff, but I, I I like to be a bit sensible on this as well. If you're cold, just, I, I don't get cold, but I put on extra layers to protect myself regardless. She's got the insulation many of us would kill for, except she can't take hers off. If they have fugglers, I'll have them. Oh, What's this, Amber? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not you do not need another bottle, Amber. No? <laughs> no, no, it's too much. You need to drink your water, though. Just... <laughs> okay, so I didn't get anything, but my mom got this uh, 365 Days of Words to Inspire. But it is a 2022 calendar, which is totally fine. What's today's? It says your future is bright. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Okay, but look, still, I love all these positive. You look like a million bucks. All Our mother's featuring more. I like that. Thanks. <laughs> look, be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. Me too. And like every single one is like art. Yeah. Wait, I'm obsessed. It's adorbs. Oh God, this is boring. Do you do anything in this? Oh, hang on. There's a way in here. Let's go to that. A couple that I've been wanting to do. She's doing her Lego, everyone. Oh, crap. Where's the check on? Sorry, I may have uh, gotten rid of you then. There we go. Hello, it is January 15th. It is Monday. And Mondays uh -huh. are the official weigh-in of how much did I lose back... It was, oh, this would be great. Because I know how much I weighed on my birthday. Let's, let's, let's do a weigh-in together, Amber. On January 15th, 2024, I weighed 196.2. I, uh, I had some cake the day before. And I was very happy with myself. That week. Hello. Hello. Ready. Okay, Riley, so I'm stepping on. 507.4 pounds. 507.4. Nice. You got an even bigger poop. Five months. Uh, Rennie. Uh, Rennie. 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 Sorry, I'm really bad at names. Um, well done. You should be very proud of yourself. You were 177, were you, Sister Grim? Nice. Yes, I was on track yes, back yesterday. I did really freaking good. Oh my god, I'm so happy with this. 507.4. Hell yeah. Seven is my favorite number besides one. I do like uh, the cake was chocolate, I think. I I, I was I I don't know was it was it chocolate Sunday. Either that or I was eating uh, hotel chocolate. I can't remember now. Like one. Okay, you guys, so I was 507.4. That is so amazing. I was on track yesterday. So this week, I am down 5.2. I am so... I mean, it's good that you're doing this and that that's showing positive, you know, so far. But you haven't uploaded, made a video in seven days. You haven't uploaded in four days. So I want to see the rest of this. Because I can imagine you're just going to give us a number and say, oh, well, I got to 501 while you guys were away. I was, I was busy doing things. So proud of that. And in total, this year so far, which has only been 15 days, I'm down 8.4 pounds, which I'm very happy with that because my goal is to lose you need to color and stuff 100 pounds this year. And to reach that goal, I just need to lose 1.9 pounds a week. That is it. So I'm already like way ahead of schedule. I am so proud of this weigh-in. Yay. Uh -huh. Okay guys, so I went on to Instagram. I told you guys to ask me questions. I figured it could be fun to do some rapid fire questions. Is that something for a phone? It was, but it's nothing important. And so let's get into it. Favorite thing about living in Oklahoma so far? Definitely living on my own. I love living on my own. Can I show footage of water draining down a sink, please? I think Amber will do it at some point in the future. Don't you worry. She's got you, bre. Uh, you're 5'3 and 140 pounds. Really? Ah. 500 pounds is insane though, Stacey. I couldn't agree with you more. 
my rules. I can do whatever I want. Everything is mine. It's like my own little like haven, sanctuary for it. Did it snow in Oklahoma? Yes, it did. So the last question I'm gonna do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? Ah. So honestly, I find it a little weird only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is gonna get involved. And then I think it was- Uh-huh. A few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her that that was initially what she wanted. It was my- I, It's a very interesting situation, to be honest. Um, and you kept on dropping her regardless. So she did get angry with you. Because you kept on name dropping. And I found that fascinating that you would keep on doing that. When you really didn't have to. You had no reason to. That you were using her to dunk on her and others. Because of how amazing Wipey was. And we know you didn't take that for granted. Which is why you totally didn't cheat on her. My way of agreeing. But like now she's talking about me. I don't know. Share your story. Share your truth. Share what you think is your truth. I and harm your views even more. Because that will happen. I know some like to call uh, Becky a grifter. That's fine. I'm not going to judge that part. Um, I think personally, you guys need to just get it out of your systems and the court of public opinion are going to destroy you anyway. You know this is true. Uh, it's never going to change. It is immutable fact. I, I don't know what else to say about it at this point because... Because you're dumb. I'm just not really into this whole, let's talk shit about our ex for money. I I, I feel like you've said that. And not really give them... I mean, the smirk and the eye thing doesn't help. Um, the pause game doesn't help here. Uh, because you've been doing that for years, Amber. You did it to Becky all the time. Like Destiny, they cared for you and you were bedbound. You were bedbound because of your weight. Like, fam. They wiped you down. They washed you. They cleaned you. They fed you. They went and got your food. They did everything for you. Like, you can't say that you didn't dunk on them because yeah uh karina kaboom said that sinatra got struck i don't know if that's true or not. i mean i could ask him let's go ask him Actually, I'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly put socks back on the screen there you go I'll go to his server and find out um well silent sin has a, a stream from yesterday uh Yeah, his stream from 24 hours ago, uh, yesterday is still up. If he did get struck, I don't know if it was recent or not. Um, I'll quickly check Twitter, though, because you have my attention. Because I, he and I have been friends for years. First tweet I see is, and my bum is still getting on my tits, so I like that. That's a good tweet. Sinatra on Twitter, right. Uh, Chantel... Booth on Becky. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I don't see anything on his Twitter about it, I'm afraid. Uh, where am I going? This one. Right, back to here. Right. Um, we are blessed with socks. Damn right you are. For more socks, it's streamlabs.com forward slash Omegon. <laughs> I personally am not going to be doing it. I did go against my morals at the time when Destiny started saying all those things about me and I went on live stream and then started doing the same. I was in a very bad headspace at the time, but I'm not going to let that be an excuse because even if I was in a bad one now, I still wouldn't let myself come to that type of energy because I'm not going to do it. You can do whatever she You say that, but you were doing it. She wants and I'm not going to say a damn thing because I just wish her nothing but healing, happiness, health, success, all the good things in the world. Alliteration, nice. But it is a little confusing because she was the one who initially brought up the law. Times are tough right now. Um... Oh, he, he has been struck in the past by people. Um, he has. Um, it's an off. It's quite an irritating problem he has had to deal with. Um, as far as I'm concerned with with Amber, right? I'm going to get rid of that. Um, we're on Chantel. We're going to do that now. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of these tabs. Do, 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 do. So, Foodie Beauty is currently sat at ninety-seven point eight thousand subscribers. Yeah. That's interesting. Likes this, like disabled, comments turned off. 26,000 views on a video titled and released on the 31st of December, titled My Final Decision. Now, I obviously can't include this in January, but I have to because... Oh, she's live right now. Damn, she does not get any viewers anymore. She's get over 1,000. All right. Well, we're going to go... Oh, geez, she actually is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 
So from final decision to now, uh, chantelle has been quite active. Yeah, she's done four, 16, 18 videos. Yeah, four, eight, 12, 16, yeah, 18 videos. She's obviously been live quite a bit. She often is. She's always live because she was doing Canada only three weeks ago. You know, it, it didn't take her. Oh, God. OK, 5150 from CSLC. Oh, no. Really need, you need to stop talking about FFG. You are giving her and many others ammo. You've got to stop this. I know you need each other, but at this point, oh, my life. Bam. You've got to stop fighting each other. It's terrible. Oh, dear. Final decision 16. Yes. Well, that's the video we're going to first. Uh, we're going to have to. Uh, hello, Joker Inc. Hope you're well. Um, lives a lie. Yes, yeah, so that's the problem. Not only is she living a lie, but she is delusional enough. To oh, hang on. How many likes? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> um, it, she lives this delusion and is desperately trying to push it on us. It's embarrassing. Like, you're so desperate for this. Uh, hello, uh, Swedish mum. Hope you're well. Uh, duck clips. She is, well, how many filters are in this image, guys? How many filters? Because I can see one filter around the cheek, and I can see the uh, extra, like, edited contour line here, because she didn't get it right here. There's a bump there that doesn't match the bump on this side. So she's definitely filtered and edited her own image. Right. Bam. They, yeah, they do. And that, that's not a bad thing, because, you know, it breeds more controversy, and it's not necessarily good either, though. It's just not good or bad. It's just you know what you need. And that's fine if you're willing to accept it. I'm not going to dunk on on you for that. Um, I just I can't count that high. <laughs> I just think that um, you can't tell us you're trying to be better or above anyone uh, in the case of, Am of Amber Chantel when all you're doing is this. You know, you're constantly crapping on the very people you need for views. Who are in turn given free content to crap on you? That that's that's the life you have. Is the cheek still cheeking? Apparently so. What a long break that was. I've been gone for half a day, I think. All right. Lol. All right. So I'm going to talk about this whole situation that you obviously I don't even have to mention what. Poopgate. It is. So if there's one thing I regret the most, it's impulsively coming on here and doing that live stream, talking. Oh, you mean the one that's in my thumbnail? About my private matters online. <laughs> You didn't have to talk about any of it because somebody else did it for you. Um, I can assure you with regards to my marriage that and will never happen again. Did. The uh, internet, yes, especially right, when you are me and you have dozens of vultures waiting for any... Oh, yeah, she has no pause. It's quite strange. Scraps. You th Look at the kitty. But let's face it. You think your kitty's cute? Socks would say, uh, no, bitch. Oh, their way. The internet is not a place to open up if you want a healthy relationship. Agreed. I learned that the hard way. You should have learned that years ago with um, BB, because none of that was online, really, was it? Yeah. Uh, you should have learned that. Um, hang on. Uh, so, oh, sorry. Something turned a little. Yes. Well, thank you for handling that, Leon. I appreciate that. So many times. Regardless, all would have come to light anyway. But my reaction. Oh, obviously. Because you would have lost your <clears throat> husband. Hello, Let Melly. Hope you're well. Action could have been to have handled it in private. So, I had a decision to make. I had a lot of thinking to do. I've been unable to sleep. Only. It's so basically you've made the decision and you've based it on one very key factor. The key factor being do I want to be with a man that likes sket and non consent fantasies that I'm not really with, so I don't actually have to worry about any of that happening to me? So I can then continually stick it to the internet that I've got a beautiful stud muffin of a husband who also likes to squat over people and poop on them and not have consent to do things with them. Tough choice, right? Thinking about it when I try to fall asleep and just feeling alone and far away. I think the decision you made was now very much apparent the moment you put him in your video. Like this was the, the giveaway that you'd already made your decision because he's in your videos. He's right there. That's the giveaway. 
So I'll just come right out and say I have decided to make my marriage work, and I will. You're a sucker. Although I would argue that it's not marriage. Um, if somebody had been doing this to me, it would be straight up tata. There's no middle ground. There's no nuance. There's no couples counselling. You don't deserve that, right? Um, oh, one second. I think I need to let the dog out of my room. There's one in here. I've just got to let her out. I'll be back in one moment. I will give you the hamster again for a second. All the chair creaking. My apologies. Right. Oh, my head is there. Better now. There's no uh, stupid hat on it. Right. Uh, she's an idiot. Agreed. Uh, well, I'll tell you why. Yeah, there we go. Number one reason, just plain and simple, it's the fact that I love Salah. I love him on a level which I've never loved anyone before because of how he treats me. Every, uh -huh. every single emotion, no matter how corny it may have looked to some in our couple's videos, Jesus, they were real. Man. Edited, yes, but real. This man opens doors for me, the car door every time. That means, as, you know, that's, some people call that benevolent sex, and it's just basic chivalry. It's basic. That means nothing, Chantal. Um, you've made some poor decisions with men in the past. Continuing this facade is one of them. And we go somewhere. I've never had to open a car door. You're going to let him poop on you, aren't you? Or we are together 24-7 when in Kuwait, and he treats me like a queen. I've never felt safer. I know you will all laugh at that, but I'll get to that. You feel safer because he, well, he takes the key out of the door and doesn't let you leave. And I've also never felt more provided for and loved and cared about in this particular way. Is that before or after you begged him to go and get you takeout? Which brings me to the treatment. I mean, it's royal. I am treated like a queen, and he has never once been abusive or yelled at me or anything. So to because there's a language barrier involved. Who say just because he has a fetish, he is an evil man, is just not true. Because the proof is in him treating me amazing for over a year. And I did know about some fetishes he liked, but it didn't really do like go anywhere. And we just adopted our own intimacy style. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to guess the intimacy style is a uh, colloquial code, totally, for... I am a pro starfisher. I don't judge him on those fetishes because in his real everyday life, not fantasy, he's an amazing man who would not hurt anyone. Um, well, maybe he would kung fu a few dickheads, but yeah. And Loopy, that's a point. If she's never known how to be treated by others, there is some vague understanding. Yeah. But since Chantal pays this guy to be her husband, I don't really understand the points of this video. So, I mean, my next main reason is because in Kuwait, I do feel like a princess because of how loving and attentive my husband is. Uh-huh. We're done with that video. Let's move on. Oh, God, I'm going to have to look at that, aren't I? Right. Let's go to the videos. Because the first one we looked at was this. But then she prepared to fly back to Canada. She did two vlogs. Okay? I'm going to go straight here and here because these are the two interesting ones, right? But going back to Canada... Uh, back to Kuwait shocked me. It shocked me because I genuinely didn't believe she was going to go back so soon. I didn't think she'd be going back so quickly. I didn't believe it would be... I thought it would be a few months. I thought maybe she'd try and get him there instead. Yeah. I thought perhaps she'd do another public thing and perhaps have more of her um, fans turn up. You know, maybe another meet and greet. Yeah? I didn't believe she'd go back so fast. And... That surprised me. Um, it really did. And I, I, I really didn't know how to respond. When I found out, I think it might have been Leona that told me. Either Leona or um, either her or she, shenanigans had reached out to me and told me. And I was sat there like, what? <laughs> how is she going back so soon? This makes no sense. I, I didn't know she had the money for it. Did she have to take a loan out for this or something? Because that would make sense if she did. Um, but yeah, we're going to skip to past these two vlogs to get back to Q8 and go straight to, I can't believe my husband did this. 
Yeah, and obviously Psycho Stalker because, well, no, because she, you know, she needs FFG. She needs her. Um, Chantal needs many things in her life, and her haters are one of them. Straight up. Is Bex going love? I don't know. Yeah, not sure who told me first. Yeah, I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but I know, I know you definitely did tell me about. Let's turn that on. Let's speed that up. Let's go look at the comments. Uh, oh, we have comments. Okay, 281. Let's see here. Do you have a higher furniture? If you can afford to, I recommend Turkey. I'm from the UK and went there two years ago. Oh, considering another place. And look, look at all these nice comments. It's almost like it's being moderated. Maybe some... Oh, hang on. I know your name. Ooh. I know your name. I see you on Twitter. Uh, either awesome job. I don't agree with your decision to get back, but you know I always support you. So some of the Beezers are here for it. This is interesting. Okay. Is this the furniture vlog? I think so. This music's better when it's sped Hello, up. foodie beauties. <laughs> hey, Beezers. Chocolate. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe no, but I do know you feature in a Nick Diario video. Yeah. Well, hello guys. How are you doing? Oh God, I'm got those, doing I well. So as you can see, I'm back here in Kuwait, the uh, infamous curtains there. So um, yeah, I'm back in Kuwait and I thought I would talk a bit. I didn't film any of my journey home, really. I don't think so. I'm, uh -huh. I was so tired and out of it that I don't even remember what I filmed. But I'm finally here. And when I tell you... This looks like you're in like a, a tiny cell hidden away. Like, it, it, it's... um. Which place is this now? Oh, alone wolf! Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I really this do. journey is probably the worst one. It was just uh -huh. every single thing that I had fear about with traveling as a fat person happened to me, and um, I, I swear, Allah was testing me. Was he? Okay. Uh huh. Teethy missing. And you know what? I got through it. So I learned the lesson here that. Even if something is like really hard, you can still get through it. Basic, but so good to have and valuable in uh -huh. life because we're going to face problems. I mean, trying to avoid them is probably more of a waste of time. Than yeah, so um, you mentioned Maria there to Nikki that they look like uh, they were office building. I, that's what I thought they were. I thought they were that, weren't they? And learning how to deal with them. Like and because of what I went through on this trip, or... I've learned that, you know, yeah, I can get through these things. No problem. They're not fun too, but they're not meant to be. So I'll show you my big surprise after. Um, so stay tuned, watch the whole video till the end because somewhere in the video I'm going to put, you wait till you see like, I don't know if they're called renovations, but everything done to the place, okay? So it's like new here. Refurbishment, that's the word. All right, so um, basically what happened was, you know how I booked like kind of in haste, just like last minute. I'm totally like that. I was like, no, I can't sit here anymore and just be depressed. And like, I have to come home and, and just uh -huh. be at my place and everything like that and deal with, you know, what we're dealing with together and everything, everything like that. So uh -huh. I said, you know, to Salah, my husband, I said, book me uh -huh. a flight ASAP, uh, you know, just ASAP, like in the next couple of days. So I left on the 3rd of January and the flight was full. Like it was, it's after holidays. It was a full flight. I wasn't even able to, to buy two seats. If I, I think it's simpler than that. I don't think you could afford it. I even wanted to okay so um even the business class was booked because i was like okay. oh i stretchy shivam yes haven't uh haven't a bunch of other messages come to the light of late okay so you know business class is not as expensive as first class you know i could maybe justify that it has a bigger seat it's private next time i think i will <laughs> and then i can give like a review of it so anyway so um they're like sorry ma'am it's full so I'm like the whole time I'm freaking out. I was so nervous of like, I'm going through scenarios like, okay, um, how bad am I going to be encroaching on the person next to me? Um, is it going to be a huge man? Because Would it matter? Then, you know, if it's a very tiny person, that might be okay. Um, my eyeliner's leaking because it's not waterproof. So anyway, I had to take- Oh, Maria, I understand. Um, I misunderstood that. To be honest, the comment still worked in my context as well. My apologies. Uh, and yes, I opened a snack. It's called a Skinny Dream Cherry Bakewell, like, low-calorie snack bar thing. I'm not going to eat heavy food before I go to bed or something. Take my car, park it. Then I had to take a taxi to the Ottawa train station. Then then a bus, like a charter bus, to uh -huh. Montreal Airport, okay? The Pierre Elliott Trudeau Airport. 
and on the way the cab driver was like telling me that you know everything is so bad in Canada right now with like food prices and poverty and he said that he went to the grocery store and he went into the bathroom and there was like a chicken half eaten chicken and apparently the guy coming out said I left you some so people are actually this is really sad people are taking food like rotisserie chickens into the bathroom and eating them and just not paying you know which is probably honestly less I mean if in the supermarket you're doing that I guess um you're in the right place um no no I'll stop eating now that's risky than walking out with the detectors so anyway um yeah that was an interesting conversation um so then I you know my my flight was at 8 55 um, okay. You know, you always board earlier than take off. So this, this is an exciting story. It's very Gabby Hanna, isn't it? Um, I got on the plane and it was one of those. You know how you have like. Oh, there's... Sister Grim, f in the chat for Sister Grim, everyone. I do hope you feel better soon. Okay. There's like three rows of seats in the plane. Um, on the left and right, there's like rows of three, and then in the middle, there's a row of four seats. Well, luckily I had the aisle seat, so that I could spill out if I wanted to, except when dinner service is coming. But sitting beside me was this. You say spill out. Do you mean in the context of letting everything hang? Hi, Faye. Hope you're well. Grumpy looking younger man, like younger um, man from India. And he was just like, um, and I know he's from India because I heard him talking to the person beside him. So anyway, he was like younger. He wasn't too big. So that was good. Uh, so I was like freaking out. Everyone's looking at me. I was like one of the last people to get on the plane. And I asked for an extender. So I had to kind of like, uh -huh. you know be like excuse me as i take my my seat belt and plug it in and anyway finally when i sit down um that was the moment like i'm like okay i'm gonna sit down this is it this is the moment i've been waiting for the moment i'm so scared for and boom it was okay <laughs> like i actually so the seat i'm just hearing travel anxiety that's all especially when you know you're not going somewhere where you're loved he's in the qatar plane are actually a bit bigger than the emirates because in the emirates i remember like i had trouble with the handle going down unless i lost a bit of weight i don't know i don't think so but anyway, the, the bars came down. It was like a bit snug, but like with the seatbelt extender, I was fine. We actually weren't even really touching, which really surprised me. So I thought, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> and I think I, I like, this is like a story. test. Damaged skin barrier. Sorry, but the story was dull and I'm right. <laughs> Hi, cats. I love Persian cats because from the side like that, their side profile, it looks like they have no face. It's just smush. Smushy smush. Please. <laughs> we have a slightly different color scheme, although we still did. So I'm just going to, we're going to do the little tour thing because I have some criticisms here. That is an incredibly narrow room, don't you think? There's no way Chantel gets through that easily. I mean, it, fair enough, it's practical to an extent. Then you've got lots of people over, you can just sit around. I actually don't mind that. But it, it is a very narrow room. Um, it's not something I, I would personally do. And this, that was a um, booth, and I had a bar somewhere else, right? And yes, Boo, she is doing that. And the filters are, were definitely on point. Um, my criticism, though, is that this room is highly impractical. Although I do like the rug. New living room. Look how different and amazing this looks, guys. We have a slightly different color scheme, although we still did keep some of the old, but we have a brand new, larger carpet. This is sort of new, but we kept this little organizational cubby thing. I really like it. And here we have a little dining set. I didn't even know we had room for a dining. Mm, a shipping container. Not far off. I think it's an office building. Area, but a little four seater. And um, I love these little fake lights inside, but these little jars of lights that Salon mm. picked. And Sister Grim, I agree. Doubt they're so cute. All right, and here we have the new sofa. It is a traditional type of Dioania style um, sofa set, and it kind of wraps around the whole living room. I really love the color. It kind of brightens up the room and goes well with the carpet. And here we have a table set that comes with a large table and three smaller tables. And the cool thing is you can remove the tables and put them anywhere you want. We have one of them. This is actually equal non-tent to Amber's. Like, seriously. Creek. Um, she's so cute. Look at her. This is the only part of the video worth watching. Oh my gosh. And in case you're wondering, <gasps> here's my big boy getting his big daily peanut. He loves. Right, let's have a look. Let's compare. Harry. Socks. Harry. Socks. Harry. Socks. I think it's an obvious winner there.
even though um, even though her, her socks is not here anymore. Those peanuts, and he likes to use those little choppers of his to open the shell. Oh, I miss my cute mouse rat, big hamster. It was very, very delicious. You know how much I love the falafel. Oh, in the middle of the cheese platter, it comes with jam and has tomatoes and zaatar and olives, and which also kind of match with the color scheme of our living room. So yeah, this is um, very typical kind of style here for the Middle East. Um, for I, I'm not a fan. So we're going to go to this next because there's a bit of a palaver on this one, wasn't there? Um, which does lead to, not final decision, this um, stream of, was this her stream? Hang on, was it this one? No, it's not this, is it? No, it's no. This is something else, isn't it? This is the um, different date. My apologies. Give me a second. Oh no, no, that's from two weeks ago. It's not the same one though. No, this is just what starts the bait and continues. This one's about the cannabis shop, isn't it? Falafels are tasty. I've never had falafel, uh, Sister Grim. So I will take your word for it. I've always wanted to try falafel. I've just never had it. Um, I don't know David about the Quran because I've never. I don't follow. I don't believe in, I don't participate in, I know nothing of religion. Um, whenever people ask me about my faith, I just joke and say I know, I know neither religion nor atheism. Because I don't care for any belief system or lack of belief system. I am complete, I removed myself from that years ago as a child. Um, that was how I was raised, yeah? So I don't know what, how, what you're supposed to do with certain, um, what you're supposed to do with uh, religious texts, yeah? Oh, it's in the tab she deleted. Oh, did she? Right, hang on, we go and get it. Uh, let's put socks back on the screen for all you lovely people. Uh, and go back to my work server first. Oh, my friend Dave's messaged. Um, right. Uh, foodie. Scrolling. I actually have it on Discord here. See? We, we've been, uh, Leona and I have been collecting stuff uh, all, well, since the beginning of January here. Uh, and we're going to just have a little... Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. That's the 5150 stream. Uh, okay, and it yeah, says personal information. So the issue, uh, this stream, we're going to have to talk about this, aren't we? Um, the accusation was um, thrown out that um, FFG had, or FB had, which one was it again? Oh, God, who was it? Um, oh, yeah, right. Went to a we uh, foodie, uh, French fried uh, girl went to a weed dispensary that foodie goes to and asked if she'd been there, and this leads to an interaction with an employee. Uh, foodie beauty found out went on a rager calling FFG uh, names including Goblin, which is considered anti-Semitic. Um, obviously, it's been co-opted to be that. If anyone knows mythology, it doesn't originate with Jewish people. But uh, I can't be asked to deal with people who don't know their own, uh, don't know European history. Uh, Foodie Beauty also allegedly reviewed, reviewed the shop as the Beezer show and called out the teller by name. She deleted and screenshots are further down. So that's this 5150 stream. Hi, Vivi. Vivi? Yes, hope you're well. Uh, give falafel. Oh, hang on. Um, I may have to give falafel. I have to try falafel one day, won't I? Who's FFG? A uh, French fry girl. She is a uh, biographer, um, makes regular content on uh, Foodie Beauty and other things, but she um, is not a fan of, of Foodie in the slightest and uh, Foodie hates her to bits, hates her with a passion, and so they have regular back and forths online. Um, and uh, it's, well, FFG herself is growing in uh, negativity as well. Uh, and I don't mean that as a dig at her, I mean in the sense of there is a growing community of people who do not like her um, it won't be as big as uh, Chantel's, but it is growing. Um, but it's the title here, yep, I smoke, smoke bud and what? Yep. Uh, see, it, it, well, I think a biographer seems a bit nicer. We have a little clip here. It's apparent, ma'am, you might want to drop the I'm a pious Muslim act throwing out an F bomb and calling people the R word. Oh, let's go with that. Hi, energy egg. Like, you think these same people will sit there for fucking hours, like, on a, analyzing an eight-minute video on nothing? Get, she'll get mad because there's not enough snow on the ground. Yeah, Loopy, I've heard. It gets messy. Um, um, oh, and uh, Vivi, Vivi, thank you very much for the $2 donation. I really appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. Um, um, 
Food, French Franco and Yaba think they don't stink. Yeah, I there's a lot of toxicity in um in this area. And I, I have to be I genuinely just can't be asked with any of it. Um you should all fight each other uh, because it's funny. Um but if you do it just because you always think you're right, I think you're just breeding um, a lot of intentional um uh, breeding, uh, breeding a lot of intentional ignorance and anger, uh, and I think that, yeah, uh, you dropped stuff in there. Oh, did I? Oh, right. Well, we might not have it, uh, but in that video, uh, Chantel does drop the, the R word, as it's called. That word is being used on Twitter now by literally everyone now. I can't use it. Oh, did they recommend me? And you think I'm a good channel? I appreciate that. It's always messy. I agree, Chaos. Uh, and your name is apt for this, then, really, isn't it? Um, I think everyone has. Demons in their closet. Everyone stinks online uh, with something. Uh, it's quite bad. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to respond to any of it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Thank you, uh, Vivi. I appreciate that. There's a big delay on that, isn't there? Right. Let's 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 see. Oh, more rage about. Oh no, there's more. Hang on, is this the stream? Oh no, I'm not watching. I can't do that. Strike just reasons. How do you guys know? But how do you guys know I don't strike these channels? YouTube does nothing. They don't hardly do anything. Chantal shouldn't admit to that. I don't think. Yeah, no. I see. Um, I do and what? Interesting. She she really doesn't. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, watching it, but oh, boll it's all bollocks. Absolutely cute by cat. It's it's a fascinating view though. Um, it's very. It's very um, uh, intentionally uh, toxic. You put it in, my, in your stash. Oh, hang on, let me go and get that. Pinned it. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to that then. Uh, Discord, here it is. Right, I think this is it. Here, yeah. This is what you pinned, I believe. What you've been waiting no, that can't be. That's not rage. That's the. Wait, is that the right pin? Uh, I mean, it is the right pin, but it's. Is it? I don't, I've already covered. This is before she went back to um, uh, Kuwait. I didn't want to cover. I, hmm. I don't know. No, I don't. I, I'm not gonna. Unless it's in this tab. Is it in this tab? Oh, now I've lost where I am. Oh crap. Sorry guys, give me a second. I, I'm not gonna. I hmm, I don't know where it is. You know what? It doesn't matter actually. We're gonna we're gonna carry on because I want to see what she keeps doing. Um, her anger FFG is gonna keep happening. Um, oh, don't worry about it, Leon. It's all good. It's all good. I think we're gonna ignore it um, because I'll have to cover it next week uh, or a week after. Um, because this is just a mess, quite frankly. Uh, we'll go back here. Because Chantel is not helping herself. This someone needs a fifty-one fifty from CSLC. Uh, it's just typical you know, her anger, quite frankly. Um, and I, I've said it before. Chantel right now needs FFG for views, and FFG is getting a lot of views from Chantel. So Chantel knows she needs FFG for those views, so that she can get some of her audience back or haters to come and watch her. Because she's not really interested in being more, is she? Yeah, this is when she found out she like yes, it's exactly that. I uh, had an ex machina uh mach I was gonna say machina, but that's the thingy. Machina gamma. Is that it? Machina gamma? Yes, that. Um Yeah, they do, and they promote each other. Oh no no, it's all good, Leona. I actually confused myself. Um I think uh, in the context of what was going on, I think there was a rage relevant to food, to French Fragoral, but I don't really mind. But let's uh go to the video. FFG could cause someone their job. From some tea, which is from the 6th of January. Uh, like, dislike, disabled, and comments are turned off. Very well. <laughs> the intro is slow. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> 440 viewers, though. You're not doing too bad right now. I love that I've got the Da Vinci code up here. I, feel like I, I must have watched that recently. Hey there, beezers. What a person. Uh, how does having both a hamster and a cat work? 
Um, so I think she has the cat, uh, the, the hamster in a room separate on its own, uh, separate from the cat. The cat does not get to go in that room, I believe, Lexi. Um, yeah. Um, uh, let me see. I don't know. All right. FFG, FFG's angle. Um, which angle? Personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever, or maybe a special shout out. Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. No. In the moment, let's just say. So I'm going to talk about the cannabis dispensary. Yes, uh, Loopy, I, I noticed. And it cracked me up to no end because obviously, as we know, Salah does not feature in the videos anymore, does he? Unless he has a more recent one that I haven't seen. Um, because let's face it, He's just not there anymore, really, is he? Like, that was, I'm sure, part of the agreement when his contract was renewed. Sorry, from Cornwall situation. He's the Kuwait Syrian equivalent to a Thai bride. There's just so much BS that uh, I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to follow up uh, with regards to my complaint. So, Shame I don't get so like not aware, sex. there's a crazy, psychotic, lunatic, idiot loser. Got to be a bit careful. Um... We, uh, the words of Chantel are not the words of a Megon, because a Megon doesn't care. A Megon's more interested in watching this unfold than he is of uh, giving an opinion of agreement or disagreement, because that's effort. And I'm renowned for my laziness. And being a grifter. On that note, if you'd like to support this channel, streamlabs.com forward slash a Megon. <coughs> Hello, hyper bum fuzzle. Hello, Frisco kid. Hope you're both well. Channel. FFG, and she's probably creaming herself that I mentioned her name. Oh, um, well. that's, that's she not what I want. She has no content. She has no, no personality, no content. She's just a rage pig, and she just screams and shouts and rages about the dumbest things. Be like when you went to Cuba. Uh, in my content. So. I'm gonna give you my number one no, tip. No, you bloody well not, because I'm gonna. Better Help's a con. Do not use Better Help. Right. Um, uh, quickly read the chat there. I have birds and a cat, and the cat's protective. Yeah, I um, we have um, we have cats and dogs. We have a tortoise. My sister has a tortoise, um, and um, dogs generally are quite happy. Um, uh, I should donate it. Well, YouTube are thank very grateful for it, and actually I am too. It doesn't matter really um, how. I'm just grateful. Uh, it's because I, I set up a Norwich trip goal at the bottom of the screen. I thought um, I'd be cheeky and do that for the stream. Uh, and um, yeah, go from there, really. The e I've I got to master it. I need to be the best e -begger, like the very best, like no one ever was. Da, 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 da. If you know the Pokemon song, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I hate these the better help commercials because better help is a con. Uh, straight up, it is. Creators were paid hundreds to promote it. And then got referral money for it. I'm like, I'm nah, I'm not okay with this. That that's what her audience wants from her, you know. So. <sighs> yeah, because they used to watch you. Even a monkey knows that if you throw it peanuts when it dances, it's going to keep dancing. If that's you, Mr. Snowflake, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, buddy. So that's that kind of idea. Anyway, just so she's running out of content and needs something big, right? Needs some kind of big win. It did, didn't it? It's so um, Discord, she thought it? it would be uh, yeah. awesome to find out stock dispenser this dispensary to see if I've, I was I've been a customer there. So she drove from where she lives in Montreal all the way to Cornwall. Okay, like about an hour. Uh huh. Uh, passing by probably many dispensaries which have better weed. Uh, and I agree. Why is it flashing every time I hit? I click. Yeah, you know, look, I'm clicking on on the video and it's doing that. I'm gonna get rid of like. There you go. I've got rid of everything in the background that can do that now. Don't 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 flash like that. That's disgraceful. Uh, hi Julia, Julia. Hope you're well. Um, let's see. I love all the um out of a farm. Yeah, I would have. We've got my sisters have a few. I've got two dogs. I've got two dogs. I like my Cavaliers. Um, but there are four dogs here. There are uh, four cats. There'll be a fifth one soon. Actually, I think a fifth. A blind kitten being given to my sister. Very unique. Um, tortoise and a fish. Yes. Um, I don't, sadly, my nieces can't be uh, yeah, can't be trusted. All she does is bitch. I mean, 
it's pretty much my career on YouTube as well. I, I just have to be very careful how I phrase things so I don't look like as much of a bitch. Why is it flashing every time I do that? Um, like, fam. So she drove down and I'm she literally, I'm, See, I'm hitting... I'm hitting pause and it flashes. Drove past Don't do that. OBS. this employee washing the window outside of the dispensary. Right, it's which not going to hit space OBS, though, okay. And um, asked, showed a picture of me and asked if I've been smoking there just so she could catch, try to catch me in a lie. So that, there's that. And she said she's not an obsessed, psychotic stalker. Okay. There is something, I will admit, there is something peculiar about driving from one place to another to go to somewhere where somebody you don't like has been. There is something about that that doesn't quite sit right with me, yeah? Um, but I don't know the full context to know whether or not this is as bad as it can initially sound, yeah? Um, and thank you, Mr. Snowflake, but that is a massive delay, don't you think? Brilliant, though. Thank you very much. Uh, Damn well, FFG was going to Shannon's and picking up party favors on the way there. I didn't know that. So, uh, Diane, I actually appreciate that context. That's something I don't know. Um, I think it's very important, though, to have... This is something that's vitally important, because I don't know this context, and I've admitted I don't, which is why I've also said it can look bad without it. And it's vitally important. I'm not on anyone's side here. I'm really not. But I do think it's vitally important to know what was going on. But at the same time, I still think it's really shitty. Straight up. Um, have a shit to maltiness mix. Ooh. And it's very interesting to me that Chantal is trying to take a moral high ground when she's been doing crap like she's done doxing before. She did it to a creator when she had about 40,000 subs. I remember her doing it because I remember covering it in a content constable. It was actually the very, in the very first one because she was picking on people that were much smaller than her. People who didn't get the views that she was getting. Okay. Um, I do want to say though that when people have asked me if I'm if I'm if I've been smoking, a lot of the time at the time that they would ask me, no, I, I didn't. And you know, I did go there at the dispensary in Cornwall a few times, but I always just keep it private. I, if I say no, because I don't want you to know the truth. Like if I don't have to tell you if I'm smoking or what I'm doing if I don't want to. You know, so if you want to be butthurt over that lie of me saying no that I'm not smoking. Hi Cheese Whiz, hope you're well today. Because I don't want anyone to know. Um then be mad. I don't I don't I just don't care at this point. So you say you don't care, but you made an 18-minute video, so I doubt that's true. Oh, it's I, I, Radioactive Girl. If that is true, and Tony, yes. This is why I'm, I, I'm just going to be clear. I've got to be so careful. When I did my end of year reviews, I, I, I did crap on FFG a little bit by, by mentioning... I, I called her French Fry Grifter, because that's what Booty Beauty called her, and I can't say Gorrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Uh, and I agree, Joan, you don't have to like FFG, you don't have to like Foodie Beauty, you don't have to like Yaba, who I believe was mentioned earlier as well. Uh, you don't have to like anyone involved in any community anywhere, anytime. Uh, and I, I'm i fairly indifferent to most, if not all. Uh, no, most. I like uh, just saying I like shenanigans. I like... Who was the other one we've been talking about? I spoke Chicken Pickle recently. I like Eerie Pepperoni, yeah. I get on really well with these people. Um, and I've spoken barbecue, chi barbecue Chicken. I like Barbecue Chicken. Uh, and I've known these people for a while, and they've been really good to me. Uh, shenanigans recently have been helping... Um, over Christmas had been a mod here when I really needed help. Uh, Leona and I needed help to mod a chat because you guys were a bit bonkers. Um, which was amazing, by the way. Anyway, um, so she took it upon herself to dig into my personal life and find out what I'm doing behind the camera. You know, to try to have some big tea. I have some big tea. So the thing we hear is, you've turned the like dislike in the comments off, right? This is important because we now only have your side of events on your channel. But your side of events in this don't help when people poke at this on social media, do they? Yeah. I went out of my way to stalk somebody to get some tea. Yeah, that's a big win for you, isn't it? And yes, it was fast as heck. And uh, I agree, there are some rather um, effed up people in Gorbal. As somebody that I'm not... Yeah, Tony, I agree, by the way. You're actually right. Uh, there are some people who can't... I get a lot of crap from people, uh, mostly my mods, because... It keeps me humble, quite frankly. Um, I don't mind, because... Why should I give a fuck about what words are said to me on the internet? It's not like I'm doing a fashion show and someone's coming up to take to, to give it to give, give me the, the big stuff. It's all large or whatever. It's, it's not like that at all. To find out that I'm... I mean, everyone pretty much know, knows so, already that I do. And yeah, like, Hannibal the when TV I'm, show. I've already explained my life to in Canada land. Uh, or somewhere where it's illegal, well, know, creator. I if that's have creator, trouble not about. doing it because, you know, I've used it for so long as a crutch and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, but like right now I'm fine. I'm not even thinking about it. So I'm totally. You say you're not thinking about it, but you're, you're talking about it in a video. Like, fam, you, you can't tell me, you've done an entire video tight with the thumbnail stalker psycho titled FFG could call someone, uh, could call someone their job for some he cost, I believe is the word, is it not? I, I think I deserve to smoke after dealing with a psychotic loser like that on my ass. No. If your argument is, I've dealt with stress, therefore I need a release from it. Like, uh, did I fan, fan, fan girl over Hannibal, the TV show? Hell yeah. That show was amazing. I've got like two DVD box sets of that thing. I, I don't care either that I have two. I watch it. Religiously. I wanted the fourth series, okay? I just wanted the, I wanted the, I wanted the really fun, like, gay musical. <laughs> anyway, um, if you felt you had to have a cigarette or a blunt or whatever you want to call it, um, just because of stress from online, sounds to me you don't have a coping mechanism when you're not online. You are a perpetually online individual who's a slave for views. And yes, I am too, but you are actually a slave of views because you need everyone else to give you the attention. As every day, yeah. So anyways, um... Uh, I figured with your name, we also like Warhammer. I do, yes. I'll be buying some Warhammer uh, next week, actually. I'll be buying myself some dwarves. Yes. I am a creature of color, too, yes. I did complain to the dispensary, and I got a reply pretty promptly that they were investigating the situation. I be beautiful me. Too easy on me. Interesting. Uh, Matthew, we appreciate your patience. Oh, no. And um, I hear that somebody's job is on the line because of this, so give yourself a round of applause, you loser, FFG. And don't try to turn it around on me because you're the one who involved that dispensary in particular. I did say the name Sharon, but if it's not her who did it, there's nothing to worry about, right? So you're the one who put the dispensary as your thumbnail, the name of the company. You're the one who went and did that and then announced it uh, I did. Mr. Snowflake very generously donated um, uh, two pounds. Yes, through Super Chat. And that was really kind of him. Hello, Mr. Snowflake. Hope you're doing wonderful work. Uh, hope you're doing well and you'll do wonderful work. There you go. That, that makes sense. I might be getting tired. We're going to carry on for a bit longer, though. Hi, Crowdot. Online, outing that employee of what they did. Wow. Just for your one up, which nobody gives a crap about anyway. Like, especially not me. Skulls, so, skull I mean, I out myself all the time. I don't care. 
I just like say no and just most of the time when people ask me I'm not I haven't been smoking CM I agree 100% everyone sucks um, and when I do I just don't want to hear from it. I don't want to talk about it like I want it to be private you know so it's, it's my I'm allowed that's my prerogative I'm allowed I'm, allow I'm entitled to privacy um, and you have no right to drive an hour to try to ruin that just and to ruin someone's life one second don't you didn't you do a fashion show you announced it and um, this very person you are now dunking on uh, or crapping all over ironic right um, they turned up um, to uh, meet you, and you two had a laugh. You took a photo together. Um, I believe I got a very triggered response when I said they skipped leg day. That doesn't matter. It's just a joke. It doesn't matter. It literally is a joke. Um, but this is... By the way, this is more content than what we get with Amber at the moment, isn't it? Even though all we get is a really poorly framed... I'll get rid of the caption. That's all we get. Uh, not, I'm not trying to be a film expert, but you've got nine cells in a frame and one, two, three, four. I'd argue maybe if you said that was one vertically, five frames that are completely dead. I'm just saying, come on, be better. Uh, finish, uh, oh, my beloved Legend series, very good series. Um, and I'm being petty, don't mind me. I just have to for a second. Um, I just want to point out that you know, you, 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 she's been there before and that fashion show got a lot of crap for that. You've been to places and it's been review bombed because of the community you created through your own actions. That that some of that predates FFG, doesn't it? Yeah. It straight up is on you. And I'm not gonna justify what FFG has done in the slightest. Even with context or out of context, I'm not doing that. Because I don't want to justify anyone involved. I'd rather watch them fight each other from a distance because it's hilarious. Hi Juniper, hope you're well. Ooh, thank you very much Taffy for the uh, for the £10 donation. Hello. That's very generous, thank you so much. I go to go to Norwich on Monday by the way folks. Uh, if you'd like to support my, um, my holiday I guess you can call it. I'm going until Wednesday evening. Uh, please consider donating via Streamlabs. Uh, it wasn't more. Uh, to be fair Mr Snowflake, I'm just honoured be here in the first place. I'm not the most comfortable of streamers, and I appreciate that. Uh, giant meteor thrown at the earth by Meg. I, I was talking to my dad about this earlier. Segway for a second, guys. My housemate uh, in university, he played wide receiver at university, and what we'd do is, because I was a goalkeeper, at, I was a football goalkeeper, I had a great throw, because um, that's just a goalkeeper thing, right? I would stand in the front garden of the house opposite my house, and I would launch the ball over my house into the back garden. So my housemate couldn't see the ball coming. But when the ha ball got over the house, he could then plan. He could run to get the ball, basically. We're talking a decent yardage. And that's how we practice my throws first of all so I can get them further. And his so he can catch balls that weren't guaranteed in a direction. Yeah, that, that, that was fun. So I can throw me. I reckon I can throw a meteor with a bit of practice. I won't skip leg day or arm day so we get a decent throw on it. We got this. Anyway. By getting them fired over this shit. You're insane. Anyway. Um. And then she totally deflects. Hello, hard boiled egg. Hope you're well. I'm Meg. I'm a bit of a dickhead. It's nice to meet you. And gaslights and like, well, you shouldn't have doxed that poor woman, blah, blah, blah. Listen, um, saying a name is not really doxing. But yes, it is. But if it is her who did this, I don't care. I don't care that I said her name. I think she deserves it. Oh, you can't be the arbiter of that. The thing is, doxing is a dangerous area to traverse, and you know this. You've cried foul and victim before under this. You, you, if you would have given out information that while uh, public in a context, in the online space, may not be, you have then put them on blast to weaponize your audience to then go after them, which wouldn't work. But at the same time, there are people who are in your community or online as a general that would undoubtedly want to go for you. You were goalkeeper too. Yes, one second. Kindred spirits, Mr. Snowflake, except you apparently are more, yeah, vastly more talented as a creator than I am. <laughs> I'm okay with this. It makes it easy for me to uh, get by. Uh, welcome back, Rampage. Uh, it does make a great hobby in a semi truck there so small. That's fantastic. Um, if Omegon's a dickhead, then I must be a straight-up devil. You must be. Yes. 
Chantel deserves privacy, right? Absolutely. Um, and so does, but so does the person she's putting on blast and okay justifying under the guise of Murphy's. I know this context and I get it, but you cannot justify doxing. Ever justify it. No matter how big or how small, how much the indiscretion is perceived to be the slight, it doesn't matter. You cannot justify it. I don't know 100% if it's her. Um, I'm sure she's. Then you cannot justify it. Not the only person that works there. I mean, I have seen a male worker there as well, and um, but I'm just putting two and two together. Like when I came in, she said that she she saw my videos. Um, she's a, she knows Shannon, um, who just turned out. I'm so glad I got rid of that trash as a friend in my life. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know if that's something you want to be talking about. I mean, it's very still. Are you not sorry, but you don't need the things <laughs> this person has said and done since. Oregon is love. Um, I, I like distance that. myself for her. They just love autocorrect. Completely. Or Smith, one of us. Complete betrayal. Uh, good riddance. Good. You belong on that side with those trashy people. Um, so she was this person that works there. This Sharon person was a bully in high school. Um, she knows Shannon. She said she knew me from YouTube. Uh, let's approve that. Sorry, I have to approve comments. Sorry for the flashing. I do apologize. Apparently, me tabbing out to go to the comment to approve it causes a blink on the screen. I'm really sorry. Link again. There you go. And Zoe keeps selling. You can sod right off with that. I will skip your ad in a heartbeat. Bosh. It's another reason why I think FFG's story is just full of shit like her. God of War, Michael. If you've been going to like to sell, then how did you not know any of the employees? Like, how she, do you not know she, the employees if you've been going thing. there? Number one, uh, that she does a very good and I. I know that some might say this isn't actually a good act, but a good impression, but she does a good impression of FFG. It, and I've heard, I, it might, many not, might not like that, but I actually think it sounds quite convincing. Yeah. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate that, Leona. I really do. Thank you. I, I just, I didn't know if you were here, actually, because obviously, um, uh, no, I knew you were here. I just didn't know if you were busy. That's what I mean. Another thing is that dispenser is kind of new. It wasn't even there when, the last time I was in Canada before this trip so oh sorry uh, and yes cute white cat um she gets half all of, of the information or just false and runs with it uh get youtube premium no <laughs> you must suffer five seconds of that sarah <laughs> you don't know the employees there you know what i mean like so anyway um it's it pretty cold them. that day as well and they have covered windows um and they're pretty big i really doubt that the dispensary employee because that day that i went is the day she went down and stalked me and went to the dispensary as well she actually like looked around where i was parked and said and looked at the stores in that area or knew that there was a dispensary there it's, she's insane i don't it doesn't help that you have vlogged the areas where you went or oh, you showed us around yeah so people already had a vague idea where you where, you know, where you were zeroing in. When you first went back to Canada, you went on a drive, didn't you? So it wouldn't be overly difficult to find the exact spot because you gave it away. I'm not justifying, by the way, just to be clear. But you're running with some rather interesting reach, and I, I'm fascinated by it, to be honest. I don't know how people just don't even see this, but you're brainwashing stupid. So, obviously, I doubt he was out there washing the windows. Like, I really highly doubt that. Another thing that's a BS is I doubt the employee was washing Misanthropic light worker, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Windows. Let's say it was Sharon. I don't think she would be washing windows. She had to sit on a chair to dole out the weed, like to dole out, dole out the products. She was sitting on a chair most uh -huh. of the time when I would go. Uh -huh. I don't think she would be like washing the windows. They're like covered windows. Um, it was cold, you know, like I, I don't see it. But we'll find out in the investigation what really happened. If it wasn't her, then, you know, obviously I'm very sorry for calling that out. But I never liked her anyway. She was a bully in high school, so she can get... You can't justify it, Chantel. Stop the, you're, you think you're free of consequence because you're in Q8. You're deluded. Like, you are genuinely, and actually Rampage says it quite well, the mental gymnastics gives me a headache. It is exactly that. You're you're trying to justify things. And John, I couldn't agree more, to be honest. Like, and yeah, making sense of the senseless. Absolutely. It's frustrating. It It's, it's a trash, trash mentality to have. To try and justify but say, oh, if I'm wrong, though, I'm sorry. But you're trying to justify it. You can't justify it, Chantal. You cannot. 
I, I will hold this position as firm as I can. You cannot justify doxing, Chantal. Ever. No matter how offended you are, how salty and reactive and childlike mentality you are, you cannot justify it. I don't give a shit. But, um, I, she's just full of, they're, they're all full of crap. Like, FFG's full of crap. She's a total liar, and this investigation will reach. The, 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 the thing with, um, um, the thing now we know, well, according to my chat, is that it was a man, not a woman, so you are just crapping on someone that bullied you in school. I got bullied in school. It meant nothing. In fact, that was one of the things I said to them, because remember, I leave the school. None of you guys are ever in my life, so I don't care. Hi, Chris. Hope you're well. Hopefully reveal that, what really happened. Um... Hi, Deborah. Like, how do you not see how psychotic you are driving by a dispensary, driving to a dispensary an hour away, passing several on your way to just uh -huh. drive your whatever the heck you're driving? I don't even give a shit. A van. No, you, know, you came to stop. Oh, you didn't even buy weed. No, you only came to stalk. I'll be honest, if she was, the, uh, if FFG was going to stalk you, I think going to, oh my god, the pause face though. The pause game is fantastic though, isn't it? She would go to Q8. I mean, according to some um, others, she's made a lot of money as a creator. So flying out to Q8 to uh, hang out would be uh, next in the agenda, surely, right? Uh, this is high school-esque or secondary school-esque for me. The pettiness in the mentality. But then that is the nature of this uh, environment, isn't it? This biome, right? This is the biome that Chantal created. Whereas others would rather live within one that suits their temperament, their mentality, their situation. She would rather have one that constantly breeds what she considers a form of excitement so she can get that release, which is on her face right now. You know, the look of somebody who hasn't peed for a while and has finally gone to the toilet. It's kind of relief, a little bit painful. You should put free candy on there. You're a creep. Anyway, she drives by this guy. Pulled, imagine someone, you're, you're cleaning windows or whatever you're doing. I, I don't see that happening. Picture it. Picture it. Most of the time, the, the few times I've gone, if it was that day, so there was a few times that somebody was working by themselves. So what, they're going to go out and wash windows when there's customers? I don't know. Anyway, and it's freezing. Like, I doubt it. <clears throat> They're huge windows, too. Huge covered windows. So I don't picture him just going out with a Windex and washing those huge stores. FG is a pathological liar and her zombies eat it up like poop with a spoon. Lol, love that for them. It's not really nice. They were mostly your viewers in the past anyway, weren't they? So, um... I mean, you called them beezers before. Um, some people have very devoted communities because they have a unique presentation style. Many people within this area of the internet don't like to be as aggressive in their delivery method. Yeah, I am one of them. I know I can and I just don't want to. I don't want to hurt people. I don't want to tear them down. Yeah. Hi, hi Heather. Hope you're well. I don't want to tear people down. And hello, Satan Kitten, I believe. That's a good name. I don't want to do that, but you do. And there are others who want to see creators tear you down, but don't get it from the likes of myself or many others, in fact. Uh, should we have a count? Uh, um, I think you did, as it concerned my father, Mr. Snowflake. And I never saw it because it went to my requests, and I'm so sorry. I really am, because I only saw it very recently. And I really, really am so sorry for not replying to you about that. Um, and thank you, Heather, Joy, for the donation. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry for not replying. I really am. I only saw it in requests very recently and realised it was too late. I thought, well, I've cocked that up, haven't I? Yeah. Um, right, so just to think on this before we continue. Um, yeah, you messaged the real one. I promise you did. Uh, I've got a new phone, so I'm going to have to finish installing, setting up my accounts on there, because apparently my Google didn't actually transfer my accounts, because it's stupid. Uh, I'll sort it out message me at some point. Maybe tomorrow, if I'm lucky. We'll go with that. Um, yes, uh, you you have this biome of toxicity, and many creators don't cover you in that aggressive manner that FFG does. And that is what many want. It's why many hate you now. They hate you. And hate is such a 
complicated. And thank you again, Heather Joy, for that. I really appreciate that. A very, it's a very absolute negative of emotion. And you have like the words yes and no. They are the absolute positive, absolute negative word. But emotion, hate, is the absolute negative. And it's such a difficult emotion to maintain. I don't know how anyone does it. I, I've noticed that as I've gotten older, I'm, I've become more relaxed. I don't want to be angry because angry makes my heartbeat go up. It makes me worry. It makes me stress. It makes me very, I don't want to say aggressive, but I don't want I, I put a type of a type of Meg. I don't like to, I don't want to consider being right because I don't know. I don't think I could ever do good content in that mindset. Yeah. I'd rather be calm, a calm and reasonable person, perhaps. But I know that's not going to... Um, we need to get the donors. Yes, you do. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to keep creaking my chair all night. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do need to buy a new chair. Um, but if you do want to donate, please consider doing, to, doing so via uh, Streamlabs, as it would go directly to me and not 40% to YouTube. Thank you. Uh, FFG has massive balls. Um, to be able to do this on a daily basis, I think that it's, it's an indicator of... Oh, I don't. I don't know how you manage to do it because I can't maintain that level of disdain towards another person. Uh, and that's not a shot at FFG. Of course, it's not. It's a, a curiosity because I don't know how you do it. I can't. I just can't. I really don't. I, I don't know how you do it. Uh, I, I just find it very um, uncomfortable to maintain absolute hate towards another person. Uh, it is a commitment. And I just can't do it. Or windows. I can apply oil to the chair. Or, or I can keep on doing this and annoying everyone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I hate doing that. <laughs> like, does nobody like use logical thinking when they listen to what comes out of her big gaping hole in her face and her fat face? Sorry, but. And Regina, I can't that's talk fair. Talk about this person. It's so I mean, imagine you're just. Oh, and Mr. Snowflake, if you hit, I'm going to go back here a second. Right, let's, let's, go and, let's go and check. I need to find out. Oh, crap. Oi, hamster. Where are you? Oh, I know why. Uh, nah. That's why I hit Discord, not browser. There it is. Right. Let's go find out. Find out. Mr. Snurflake. Oh, you hit 100,000 at last. Big up, Mr. Snowflake. Congratulations! I was about to tell everyone to go subscribe, but you've hit a hundred thousand now. So I'm I, I I have no reason to uh, to to promote you now. You're too big. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's let's go back to the video. You've had enough socks for one day. Congratulations, by the way, uh, Mr. Snowflake. One last time, I'll say that you deserve it. Washing your windows, and this beast comes along and rolls down the window and shows a picture of me and says. Do you know this woman? And the, the employee says, yeah, I've served her. Really? Like, what employee would, would, there's a reason there's covered windows. You know, it's like for privacy. Um, mostly it's because legally they're not allowed to show the products in case of youth seeing it and all that stuff. But uh -huh. liquor's fine, whatever. So, uh, but also like there's a, there's a level of customer privacy there that they totally breached. Like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, apparently. It's just insane, you know, like... <sighs> you got them before Chantel did, and she's been at this for ages. Um, better stop or people will w wear you a sad fishy for donuts. <laughs> you're, you're at a... Oh, know, Kinsey, I just, you foiled it, me. I don't, obviously, I don't think any laws were broken. Plan. I, I, mean, I don't I've even been, know. I've like, just I didn't been, even have time to do this But, um... Please, what kind, of, what kind of unprofessionalism is that from your dispensary? Like, do you... Spoken with no level of irony from a person who's supposedly not meant to be doing that kind of stuff anymore, but also simultaneously using a level of unprofessionalism to justify doxing another person because they bullied me and they might have been the person that caused me a problem. You think people, uh, like, what if somebody wanted to be discreet in, bu in, in buying, you know? You just out somebody to a complete psychotic stranger? You're putting that person, like, in danger, potentially. You're confirming where they were at one time, that they bought this product. Um... Uh -huh. You know, like it's just ridiculous, and like it makes me worried. Like, what other information do they have on file? Because like, it's creepy. You know, so they're doing an investigation into it. And honestly, like, I, I do we hope... know if the employee got fired yet? 
Like, do we know if the employee has been fired or given a consequence because of this? That the person that did that gets reprimanded 100%. You know, I know it's harsh to say, well, I hope they lose their job and blah, blah, blah. But honestly, like, if you're going to, like, be unprofessional like that and put... Shut up. Hi, SJ. I don't know when they hit 100k, actually. I, I didn't know, know at all. In certain danger or breach their privacy, like, I don't really feel bad for you. <laughs> like, you know. So... Hansi um, for Jaws. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, I just... Of anything, at this point, I'm not surprised how low people go. Thank you, she's dark inside. Uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, it will definitely help the squeaky chair fun. I'm going to get rid of the hamster bitch. I don't know why it does that. I'm really sorry about the flashing. I have to tab out to go to the chat to like things. Thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate it. And YouTube said thank you as well. Oh, like it's just, especially this idiot who needs, who has just no... And Megon gets $5,000 per million views. Do I? It's a shame I didn't get monetized much last month then, really, isn't it? It'd be nice to get that kind of money, wouldn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine if I actually made five grand in the month? That'd have been awesome. I can promise you this humongous fungus. YouTube doesn't pay as much as people think. It's not as um, accurate because YouTube... Um, I'll give you confirmation of this just for a sake of transparency. I had one video do 120,000 views. It made $200. Uh, that, that was it. Um, which is a lot. Of course it is. But, and thank you, she's dark inside again. That's very generous. But if we're going to be honest, no, it really isn't um, that great, sadly. But uh, I was very proud to make that money. And I did promise my nieces I'd buy them a little plushie each. So they're very happy with that. No content, no brain to come up with decent content. I, I could, could I'll be honest, I could quit my you know, job at, oh, a, a, I don't know. at half. I don't know if they have CCTV or what they're going to do when they're investigating it. Probably look at it. This, this video is trash to me. Because you can't, she's trying to justify something you cannot justify, yeah? You can't, like, you can't justify any of this crap that you're trying to put on. So we're going to, um, where was that? FFG could cause someone to lose their job. We're going to go to the videos part again. I know she's live now, but I'm not, I don't stream Snipe, so I'm not going to do that. That's then. She's done so much more since. I don't know where to go, though. Um, well, hang on. A mukbang? Weighing in other matters, and then I'm... Really? Oh my god, you're on a weight loss journey, aren't you? I forgot about this, because she started doing a... Um... Well, she didn't last very long, did she? She's gone back to Taco Bell. Cheap meal, apparently. Oh, this is terrible. Yes, Chantal did brag about that, didn't she? Uh, if I could bring back Benny Hill, 100% I would. He's hilarious. So he did... You don't, well, there's that as well, drink juice. Drink juice. It's it's not as video production. Make, YouTube want you to be more a streamer than a video maker. Because there's more money in streaming than there is in video, basically. Uh, so it's why a lot of people do just exclusively stream because they get more money from donations that way. Uh, I don't stream as much here because I like making videos. Yeah, uh, it's a tricky one. Um, I want to go to the... Uh, I don't want to go to Jet Lag is Real. I want to go straight here to the cheat meal. Because she started a weight loss journey, a walking challenge. Which I'd heard... Actually, no, no. We're going to go here first. Because I heard about this. And now I'm going to go to this cheat meal. Because I want to hear the justification for it. Yeah. And then Iraq road trip. Because this is... Why Iraq? Why would you want to go? You know what? I'm not... No. You can shut up. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here. for. How am I going to get this... I need to grab something. Give me a second. It's just behind me anyway. Where is it? Thank you, paracetamol. Right. Uh, you're 6'3. Huh. Are you vertically challenged? At 6'5, I'd like to just dab on you with the extra two inches of height. Yes. Uh, most big creators make more from having Patreon sponsors. Yeah, they do. Um, oddly enough, I had a chance, I might have a chance with a company called Bluetti because uh, of my cabin. And uh, and I actually use Bluetti. So if an opportunity arises to promote them in a video, I actually would. I've never had a promotion uh, thing like before, you know. 
Um, uh, Mr. Snowflake makes absolutely sublime content. And yes, squeaky chair. Hello, foodie beauties. I'm totally not <laughs> well, hello like there. Snow. Did you know that you can request a private video from me? Not with just this on. I'm bloody well in. It's with me. Oh. It's from where we live, and okay. the way is just mostly desert, desert uh -huh. with some scattered weeds, and a lot of road and electrical towers. Uh -huh. Yeah, so here you go. What is, um, what is, um, uh, what is pot pie? A tree. Nice. Hi, MP. Thank you. Um, don't like pot pie because I don't get shivers, but I hate gravy. Gravy is not for everyone, Lindsay. Nothing wrong with that. But you might want to go to confessional. Oh, is that what one of the mukbangs was? This one. I might be wrong. Stew with the crust. All oh, right. No, thank you. These ads feel like cancer. As we get into Hiran, I know I'm not saying that perfectly, but I'm not Arabic, so please forgive me. <laughs> You'll see these streets with various types of chalets and villas. How is that a chalet or a villa? which are owned properties here in Tehran, where people like to come on the weekends. Uh -huh. I find the architecture very interesting. And yeah, it's very contemporary, isn't it? I kind of understand the appeal, because it looks very modern-ish. But I also think it looks dated. Well, except for the brick one, that looks all right. Except for the windows. Okay, and everything else about it. Very different from what we would consider a chalet where I'm from in Canada. These are huge, and they're very gorgeous. I think Kinsey, Nick Diorio, in his most recent video on Mama Max, used Chantel um, for a cameo. Are we French? No. No. No, parlez-vous français. It's impressive. The water towers in Kuwait are so unique, and I find them so... Happy, thank you very much for becoming a member. I really appreciate that cool hi guys welcome back to another video so today we are in an area of so if memory serves isn't um isn't um not nada salah on the camera work today kuwait called Tehran. it's a very more upscale ritzy area and families like to come here on the weekends if they own properties here some of them own the properties and rent out chalets for the weekend so it's more busy on the weekend so we're here on a sunday where it's not as busy, so we can show you more without a lot of bustling noise. So here I am in front of some properties here, and these properties have access to this beautiful water right from the Gulf Sea. Did you have to pay to be here, Chantal? Like, did you have to pay to use that or something? One thing that interests me here is the Alkiran Mall. It's a huge you speak mall a small here. Of French so to you, sister, we drove by uh, it, it doesn't look Grimm. too busy, Nothing so let's go that. check it out. First, I'll just enjoy the beach a little bit. Stop eating on stream, I have like one bite left. I'm going to get right close to the mic. So I'm going to mouth here. breathe the feck out of this one. The sand is really good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Waka, 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 waka. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This vlog, I don't understand it. She's just walking about. If this is her, um... Weight loss challenge? I don't understand the appeal of it. Rick, you said the drinks, tea crafts, pillows. Um, nom. Um, nom, 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 nom. Right, I'm gonna go see what they have for um, drinks. Nom, nom. is a very good coffee brand. Let's go. Hi. Oh, that is not a flattering <sighs> angle. Well then, my earlier related Pac-Man comment Eat the big yellow ball, and Chantal is what you become. Sorry, what the uh, ghost becomes. And Danny, yes. Hi, Arkata. Hope you're well, buddy. Hope you're doing fantastic. I've finished my bike now, okay? You're all welcome. 
Ah, yeah. It's trying to start sass. I can't. So that's what Zara. That's the problem I have with this. This content comes across as someone just trying to make it seem like they're more of a TV presenter. Uh, Ralph Mills off the. Oh God's sake, is he really? It's like a stick sex and hammer dunked on him. She's turning black. She is. Hi. Bam. Right, <sighs> I know people with dad bods less like damaging than this. Okay, because that's what that is. That, that looks like a dad bod, the big flat front bit. Yeah. What drink do you say? She's tiny bar. <laughs> um, and they go nom 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 nom. Yes, that exactly. Yes. Why, when is she is in a country with wonderful cuisine of its own, does she go? Oh, oh well, yes. Um, so you, I, I guess if she could find a Nashies, she'd be on it. That is not a flattering angle in the slightest. Hi. Okay. And he does only stay for the money. I couldn't agree more. Um, do you have a menu? A river darty or grassy? I guess the only reason so I, I guess the only reason they're filming this is because there's no one in there. Additionally, where's the chair, Chantel? <clears throat> and what part of one of your cheeks is actually on it? I only ask this because that looks precarious. You would surely be better suited on the floor because I'm looking at the chairs. There's no way you're on it properly. Uninformed is not a sufficient excuse for taking bad advice from this direction. While I insist no one should be ashamed to be fooled, anyone should... I, I agree. I completely agree with you on that. Uh, the tourism ad. And Maria, you're correct, is that. Does she have a peg leg? I mean... She must have something behind her that isn't the chair. Um, but that mental image made me... Oh, I'm glad it made you laugh, fam. I really am. Uh, as long as you guys get a laugh out of some of this, then I consider it a win. I really, really do, actually. A iced latte with sugar-free vanilla. Ah. Uh, itchy eye at the wrong time. <laughs> Lavazza is an Italian coffee brand. Yeah, I'm familiar with that brand. Um, I'm just going to say now, because uh, I used to drink a lot of coffee, uh, it's it's absolute shit. But that's just a personal opinion on that. Uh, hello, Monkey's Uncle. Hope you're well. That's a really good flavor. Oh, the chair is there. Oh, can I have an F in the chat, please, for that poor chair? It deserves to be treated better than this. There's a terrace out here. I want to go check it out. Let's go. Oh, actually, you know, she was fully in the chair as well. Interesting. F in the chat, though. Yeah, P.I. will go for your Lavazza. I will have it. I will, honestly, because it's absolute trash. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you drink whatever you like to drink, uh, I'm not going to dunk on it too hard. That's it. That chair deserved better. Get it a GoFundMe. So that's a point, actually, the uh, the coffee thing. Because uh, didn't Amber do that? And she wondered why uh, she's sensitive to caffeine. But she went for a blonde. And you look at the caffeine in it and the calories and like, bitch, that's one. Uh, the cameraman we believe to be her <clears throat> husband. Air quotes around the word husband. Who she's still with, even though he was cheating on her and telling someone that he wanted without consent to do things to her and also poop on her. That's gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> now that is an angle I you know what? I think Chantal does it on purpose because the front of what she's wearing hangs a lot higher than the back yeah she needs to fight it needs to wear it the other way around I think just so that it well actually no she needs to just get something with the front and back quite low now Booty's invisible coffee chair. I would totally follow that channel. How many filters? It's so nice out here. Wow. Nice bro And she can sit properly again. Please. Love it. So I'm just taking a small break here on the terrace and uh, did enough walking already and we're going to continue a little bit. Yeah, Fubar, I can't help first it. First impression already of this mall, it's amazing. I've never seen a mall like this where I'm from in Canada. Chantal has a very odd body body shape, doesn't she? She's got very 
like for her size, you think the way her weight has um her weight has um manifested on her body, you'd think the legs would be bigger. She claims she's still three sixty, doesn't she, Crowdark? It's absolute nonsense. She must be at least four twenty. Has to be. Um, but she she her legs are quite small for her size. I think they are anyway. Her arms are really short as well. She's basically a really weird T Rex. Yeah, she dark inside. She's dark inside. She's talking enough crap about like her weight. Yorkshire tea or what? I do like Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea is good. Although I do have a PG tip monkey in my room. He's in the corner, sat on a bottle of uh, Haven whiskey. Uh, so it's Swedish whiskey. It's impressive. Curious. And around here, there's like some dogs with water. Coconut with legs. Oh, I like that's a good one. No boats right now, but same shape as your older sister. Well, F for your older sister, unless your older sister is as bad as Beauty Beauty, which gets her a Cindy F. I, I personally agree. 400 seems accurate. This this brochure content, fam. This is like, come to my my area of the world and look at it. It's beautiful. And I look amazing. Look, I look picturesque. And look at me. And let me pan the camera. Bitch, this is just... Nah. You're doing it on a phone. Because the next... Look at this. What's this? What's this shite? Come on. No, go faster. Hello, foodie. Just a quick thing. Actually, the streaming... Here, yeah, no. I got beard meets food. I like beard meets food. That's right. Oh, she's got 4.7k watching though. Damn. She's doing well. Good on you, I guess. Hey there, Beezers. Want a personalized no, video from I, me to you I that you can keep wrong, forever? No, I was I worried that on my birthday someone was going to do that to me. Can you imagine that? I, 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 can't, I, can't deal, I can't deal with that. That would actually kill me. Ding. Ah, uh, it screams pay. Yeah, it does. Yes. Um, I don't really want to call so, it like a cheat. Just you know? the thing. It's just something right. like the thing here. Look how small that room is with her sat there. That doesn't look good at all. It's a. It's an interesting frame. I give us. Oh, that is a very. Actually, I'm gonna leave that there for a second, just so we can enjoy that look. Yeah, yeah. And uh, beer beats food is a fun channel. I agree, Jim. I love watching. It's after eleven. Uh, well, we'll go for a little bit longer. We've got we've got some energy left in us. I think this muk this mukbang might be the one we could finish with. Um, yeah, the room is very narrow, and this does not help her in the slightest. And um, and beer beats food. I've been watching that guy for years. I love him. I love his wife and his sister. His sister's hilarious. Uh, everyone should watch him and his sister because she's and they got a podcast. It's even funnier. Um, since she's back in the dating game, uh, it's even funnier with some of the marks they've made. Um, I've never had Taco Bell, so I don't know if any of this is any good. I hear a cat outside my window. That's hilarious. Oh, sorry. There we go. Um, I feel like having and I'll just eat accordingly, like, healthier for the rest of the day. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about or make excuses for what I'm eating. I just want to eat it. So... You know, if you want to watch me uh, have dinner, fine. If not, fine. So, well, <laughs> anyways. Um... 17,000 people watched the video four days ago. We've got comments, though. It's so annoying you can't finish a thought before taking a bite. The food isn't going to run away, Chantel. It's not just about losing weight, hun. This meal will send your sugars sky high. The dangers of diabetes is more than losing limbs. I think maybe you should not have cheat meals yet. And I agree with all those messages. If you're going to commit to changing your life, you have to change everything. You can't turn back on it and decide, actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna have a cheap meal right now, in fact. A cute white cat, thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that. Um, also, uh, you've read, someone wrote, um, who's the one made the toilet joke? Uh, oh, yeah, apparently it makes you poop. Yes. Um, a friend of mine, old friend, I haven't spoken to him in years actually, a YouTuber, they make some weird videos. They did a video titled Unboxing Taco Bell. It was them sitting on the toilet, and the YouTube videos them, you can see the sweat on their brow as their and their face getting red while they grunt and push it, and you hear the sounds. I will admit, they linked that video to me, and I've never had Taco Bell, and I, they knew this. They sent it to me first. I watched that and cried with laughter at it. I cried because it's the it's the dumbest thing you could do like upload to YouTube and they did. 
Uh, I, I don't know if it's good for you or not. I don't know what any of this is, but this is not what you should be doing so early into Yeah, your, so having, uh, this is their double yeah. quesadilla meal. This is double quesadilla. No, this is There's just them in, serving um, normal portions because they're cheap Kent, as near the port of Normally, Dover, I guess, if, they, like, if this is double, they only give you this normally? No, sorry. All right, cheese fries, diet. I'd have to take a train. A fair distance diet they had. to get to the one in Dover, and I'm not doing that. And cheese fries. And I have yogurt instead of sour cream. So I'm just going to make this like this. There we go. Thank you very much. You gotta have some kind of sour white substance on them. <laughs> Yogurt, sour cream, whatever. Oh, I'm sure you're used to that. Whatever. Anyways, uh, let's get the setup here. Do -do 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 -do. Bismillah. Oops. Hot sauce. Uh, yeah, there's nothing about this that's diet like, and I just gonna think. I'm I'm very I'm very old fashioned, I guess. I'm English. We don't do much. I don't personally do condiments that much. If you have to buy something and then apply a boatload of condiments to it, what does that tell me about your taste buds? And what does that tell me about the quality of the food you've purchased that you have to put all that on as well? I don't want to buy a takeaway that is essentially DIY. That involves me getting planning permission to put the scaffolding around it to continue to put enough condiments on for it to taste passable. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It looked, by the way, we're good to go. am I the only person that thinks now, the thing on the left now, with the cream and the, the, the brown stuff on, it looks like a, like a toffee meringue cheesecake. I can't, or pancakes even, with cream and toffee on now. I, if that's what you're trying to make it look like instead, I mean, what, how crap is your meal? All right, I make my own fries supreme. Okay. Yellow. Bismillah, bismillah. Mm. Uses fork, gives up after one bite. Bites six times at most before swallowing. I'm wearing matte lipstick. Let's hope it doesn't smear. Taco Bell doesn't, that's like uh, Foster's doesn't represent uh, Australians with beer. Yeah, large <laughs> bun, right. bun, that's actually pretty accurate. I want to talk about. It was a Taco Bell attempt mm. at a quesadilla, was it? It looks like a crepe Yum. to me. It looks like absolute trash. And crepes are trash too, by the way. Pancakes should be thick with all the seeds. I want to talk about some things that... Um... I make omelettes thicker than that. Uh... Thanks for being here, Siobhan. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you seem to be confusing me with someone else. This whole notion... I've seen comments from people commenting on my videos. Which videos? You turn comments off on the majority of them. Where it's like... They're like... The only reason... You want to get healthy... Now... I'm losing weight now... Because there always has to be some kind of like ulterior motive that's a negative. There can't be anything ever positive in my life, right? I mean, I, I'd like to believe the best in you and think that perhaps you are doing this for yourself and that you can do something to help your, your health. But it's you. And you don't. You really don't. It's because of the fact... You don't want to be cheated on. For that to be the case, you'd actually have to be legitimately married and not just simply bound to a person with a kinder egg ring. You want your man to be attracted to you. Okay, number one, when you say things like this... Let me guess, it's, it's Islamophobic and hateful. You're basically saying... <laughs> no, no we're not. Sorry. Uh, she's on reaction channels, keeping up to date, laying on. I honestly think she does, Pat, 100%. Nobody overweight or fat, even obese, whatever, can be loved. Or oh, no, no, no. We know they can. There are feeders out there that absolutely love what you've got. Um, it's that you are a reacher and you also are a serial liar. Somebody can't be attracted to them. Now that's the look of somebody who's totally telling the truth. And yes, I went for that one on purpose. 
uh, in the dark time for my YouTube career, I ate like that. So the thing is, I I've, I can eat like that. I really can. But I, I work out a shitload to stay at a weight and a size that I'm happy with. But I've always been able to eat lots of food. It's it's because I grew up poor. If you put food in front of me, it gets eaten. I'm going to when I go to Norwich on Monday, on Tuesday, I'm going to my friend's parents' house. They know I like my food. They're making me beef Wellington. And they're gonna they they all, they're lovely to me. I know they're gonna feed me well, so I'm not gonna eat for the entire day knowing I can then enjoy that meal. Some people have to play the game. Hi MJ, hope you're well. Have a safe journey with the driving. <coughs> Sorry about that. How many of you are overweight that are watching this video? Comment below. Nope. I mean, 6'5", 195, well, 196. No, 195. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, you're welcome. Do I need to post a, a weigh-in or something? Because uh, I need to, I need to like get a pedicure first and 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 and, and, and nothing. <laughs> comment below. <clears throat> Problem I take the by architect, um you offer no defense, that's fair. But I um agree with your assessment that it rewires your brain. And oh my god, the pause. Fam Oh Cow I did yes, I noticed uh, Lexi. I was trying hard not to bite that one because that that, that that one, yeah, tickles me. I just... You... And Arcus is right. You have such an unhealthy mentality because you just look at food as... I must have all of it. And don't forget here, your taste buds have to be ruined anyway, so you can't be doing this for the quality of the food, which is already already quite low because it's Taco Bell. But it's also quite... It, it, it's just a case of you have to have these things because you're obsessively, compulsively... Um, obsessive and compulsive about putting more crap into your face because you think that's the food I used to eat crisps all the time but I gave them up in 2017 I haven't looked back I, I will admit I miss them because I loved having things to dip in you know but nah thank you I appreciate that food buffer I yeah at 195 pounds I get a lot of comments about being quite <laughs> slim but it's not that I'm just long body alright so that is BS right there Number two, my husband met me. Is that what he is? Me, and I was fat. Was? Interesting choice of word. Being on video before we met in person, the video apparently adds pounds. So. For being on video for hours and hours a day, he would know how fat I am. Third, the person he was talking to was also fat. So. <laughs> Kinsey, I like that. I like that. And last. Oh, crisp and nuts. Nuts. nuts are good though, Brian. I I like I like I like I like that. Yeah. I'm I'm a Megon and I like eating nuts. There you go. You can have that as a clip. You're welcome. Her head is as big as her ass. Uh, yeah, she's very trunchable. Is it? That's the character in um, Matilda, right? Yeah, had a Danny DeVito in it, I believe. If that is, that's awesome. Please. Hi, Paul to Geisha. Geisha. Yes. Hi. Hope you're well. Why would I stay married to someone? Who isn't attracted to me? Because they like Sket and have been conversing inappropriately with people that you, that you know they're not supposed to be with because they're supposed to love you. Talking about not getting consent and doing things to them and wanting to poop on them. Who doesn't love me because of my weight? Well, he doesn't love you not because of your weight. When? Hear me out, people. If you're ever feeling that way, the lip smacking fam. Can you stop it? Then you need to find someone who does like you for your size in your good and bad situations, everything. What happened has nothing to do with my weight. And if it did, I could easily find someone who appreciates me for how I am. I don't think you want to be bragging about the fact you just got a porn hub. Never, ever mistake that. <laughs> how 
How much do you have to hate yourself to say that, by the way? Just curiosity. No. I think saying things like, you should get in shape for your man, you know? <laughs> well, you've been together for over a year, apparently. How's that working out for you? You should do this to keep up in your, in your relationship. No, you need to do things for yourself. You don't change for any man. You don't change for anyone. You change. Fam, you don't change for yourself. You don't change for your husband. You don't change or improve for anyone but yourself. And you still haven't even done that. Like, you have not done anything to improve yourself because you live precariously, vicariously, through the lives of those that criticize you. That's what you... I really am getting this, but this pause game on, on, like, the on porn style thing. Yeah. Brush your teeth. And for yourself. Because if you really love someone, you're not going to only love them if they change. That's not love. Again, that's basically saying nobody who's like overweight is deserving of love. If they have weight issues, if they have problems, if they're not perfect, if they're not running, if they're not super fit. I'm hearing a lot of odd justification again from her. Uh, tricky me on walks when I was obese, best thing he could have done really. So, Sister Grimm, I am very happy that, you know, you have a husband that loves you enough to... to do that, so to manipulate in a way, but in a way that would better you. Because I actually don't, I, everyone want, I'm sure everyone here would want, what would want the best for everyone in the chat, right? And if you are better, happier, healthier, and you feel that's good for you, then that's all anyone could ever want, I guess, right? And she's definitely triggered G-dubs, 100%. And I love walking, Crow Dog. I love walking. I've only done about 28,000 steps today, only. Um, yeah. Could do better. He's definitely a trophy husband. If he even is a husband. <laughs> dumbest, dumbest comments from a reaction channel saying, well, maybe you should have been aware, like, you let yourself go, maybe that's why he cheated. Coming from react. That's not why he cheated, because for it to be cheating, you'd have to be together. I don't think you two are together to begin with. Those who look like this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was coming. I'm not going to dunk on who that is at all. Um, I just didn't realise that she was going to use... I did not know that was happening. I vaguely remember seeing pictures of this on Twitter um, with uh, hands on a phone and Chantal saying these weren't edited images and these were real hands. And they're quite... FFG's big, got big hands. Uh, that's all I can say, really. I, I feel like she, she shows really bad, grainy pictures, but at the same time, I didn't know those were coming. Uh, I really don't know... Hmm. <laughs> it just caught me off guard there. Sorry, folks. Okay, no. so, it's not a shot at FFG, just to be clear. It just I caught mean, like, me off guard. Ridiculous. So, I had nothing to do with my weight. Nobody knows the true dynamic of our relationship. If it, we do, it, it came with an employment contract. Yeah. Yeah. We worked that out a while ago. And you never will. It's our business. That's a terrible justification. I I'm done. Uh, no, no, no. We can't. We can't have that. Um, you cannot. I'm going to come back here. You cannot justify under the guise of, and I'll quote it: "One mistake doesn't define our entire relationship." That wasn't a mistake. That was a colossal effort. Like straight up, if he suppose if he supposedly loves you, he doesn't. I promise you, he doesn't. No man would knowingly, willingly love you if they knew they could do that to you from distance. 
Because up close, all he has to do is do it one more time to take you down. And you'd be stuck there, because you, you will do that to yourself, won't you? It's not ideal, is it, Chantel? You've got to be better than that. Uh, and I, I don't agree with um, this at all. Um, it's kind of weak, actually. Yeah, exactly, Rampage. What relationship? It isn't one. So, I'll be honest, everything is a complete farce, really. One, one mistake doesn't define the relationship. No, but the employment contract under the terms of it state quite clearly that it must be acknowledged as such in, at all times, I guess. Um, and I just find this terrible. Um, how long have we been on? Um, Kirkowalski, two hours, 50 minutes. Uh, and oddly enough, I've got work in six hours' time. So I am going to have to end it here, I'm afraid, folks. Um, we will be doing one a month, but I'm going to do more of these on Moiski Live, um, which is my regular streaming channel. Uh, where I do research streams, and this helps me for next month, and also a uh, great opportunity for me to chat to all you absolutely resplendent people. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate it, and for the incredible generosity and the kindness in uh, helping me understand things, because I'm not the smartest. Um, don't be sorry, be better. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, anyway, I'm going to go to bed and uh, go to work tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you all for being here, guys, and I will see you all, uh, well, whatever, really. Ta-ta.